thank you so yeah. much. I'm so glad you're with us. This is the, uh, is it the third uh, stream that we've done yeah, on debates like this uh, season? No, that's the second one. Second this one. year, number third? Two. Number, two? number two? Oh, that's right. We missed one yeah. because yes. it was incredibly it was, boring. Yeah. Yes, very, very boring. Uh, thank you very much Not for the fun. wonderful nation of Cuba. We'll probably talk about this tonight. They're ranked ahead of us as far as uh, health care, in case you didn't know, uh, yes, along with Colombia, Lithuania, and Canada. <laughs> What are you going to do? And uh, to my left, Canada. we have, uh, we have uh, Brodigan, who has agreed to not be drunk until later this evening. At least a half an hour. Carl Marx, thank you very much. And uh, Pantelis, what's the best plug for you? We're be uh, PantelisComedy.com. PantelisComedy.com. You can find all my social links there. And he doesn't look like Karl Marx. No? No, he looks like Einstein if Einstein invented the Twinkie. <laughs> That's what he looks like. <laughs> if Einstein invented the Twinkie. I, I was disappointed. I thought you said Richard Marx. We're going to yeah. find out what happened in Hazard. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to find And then we have a uh, quarter black Garrett. Is, uh, I think Vladimir... I am. I'm Are you Lennon? Lennon? I am Lennon. And then I don't know what He's audio weight is. What is audio weight? I don't know either. Gay uh, poet? Was, yeah. That's Caesar Chavez. Poet. Not the first time I've gotten that. No, I no, can imagine. I <laughs> Also, not the first time someone says, "Hey, I have a friend who looks like you," because you are the generic white guy. It's true. It's like true. you're the face that Sean King sees in his nightmares, <laughs> right next to Sean King. He's his trending right now, by the way. Oh wow! Uh, and I think too cute, Maddie. Is are you? You're, is that Mao or Pol Pot? It's but the confusion, right? Don't of course. Yeah. It's pretty sensible. Too cute, uh, a couple things we have to let you guys know, okay? Because you know that we've done these streams before and we've been kicked off the streams. Yes, so sure. we are streaming, of course, right now to YouTube. Use the hashtag CrowderDebateStream. That's also the promo code. You get $20 off Mug Club, $20 off Mug Club if you use the promo code and the hashtag CrowderDebateStream. Yep. If we get kicked off for any reason, we are streaming at theblaze.tv uh, for those who are Mug right Club now. members behind the paywall. Right now, they can never kick us off there. Uh, what do we have today? We also have um, we have Dave Rubin on the show. Yeah. We have Anthony. Anthony Kumi on the show. Nice. We have Michael Knowles on the show. Ooh. And I believe we have the Hodge twins on the yeah. show. We're going to have some trivia. Uh, what else? Is there anything else that I'm... Oh, drinking games. Co costume contest. Send us your costume best costume. Contest. What are the drinking games? Yeah, the drinking games tonight for those Pull who are those taking part. We apologize for the alcohol poisoning. Oh. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You have to drink for Court of Black Garrett. <laughs> Fascism. Yep. Racism. Gay. Drink twice if it's Pete Buttigieg. Ice. Right. <laughs> Deplatform. De Borders. Crisis. No, it's deportation. Deportation, yeah. sorry. That's okay. Crisis. I'll let you do this while I do this. Uh, uh, I almost let my cigar back. Get out of here. What's going on here? Migrants. Who are these What's migrants? Get the surfs out of here right now while we introduce the show. There, there's so many here. Uh, 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 fair share. <laughs> White supremacists. Trump. 1%. Uh, uh, LGBT. <sighs> AAIP. Never have a quarter black man act, do a white uh, man's uh, job. Plan 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 LGBTQ we we must act Planned Parenthood, reproductive rights, <laughs> women's health. I can't read it. I see it. Yeah. Women's rights, Medicare for all, Obama, Obama Malarkey, Gun Reform, Yang Yang Gang, millionaires, billionaires, billionaire, drink twice, Wall Street. Malarkey. Yeah, but Malarkey. I, did, I did all of that on Wait, the way Malarkey. here. <laughs> Malarkey. Uh, okay, so let me ask you, once we get to the debates here, what do you expect to see tonight from the debates? I'll tell you what I expect. I expect to see not only more of the same, but them to get a little bit aggressive, and I expect to see at least one person gunning for Biden, kind of the way Tulsi Gabbard did with Kamala Harris. Yeah, that was right really out. smart. I remember I said this. I, I said, listen, just in the, in the on the outset, and I said we don't know what could happen because it always changes. Whoever you think is going to be the candidate ultimately changes. But I always said since it's the oppression Olympics, Kamala Harris checks a lot of boxes. I thought she was going to be the gal no. until Tulsi Gabbard. I mean, did her did her worse than her right whoever did her worse she, than that mayor? You know, she did oh. Kamala Harris. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, For those of you who don't know, just research that. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so she's out. Yeah. And now Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren the is at the bill. top of the polls, which please God. For well, conservatives happen, who are going, uh, conservatives say, I weep for my country. No, 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 no. She is tailor made for Donald Trump to beat. Oh, by the way, we also have Tranny Hitler on the show tonight. Yes. We oh, have wow. Tranny Hitler, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and we have African American black correspondents. Um, right. Remember when Donald Trump was walking around? Was, remember when Hillary Clinton was the, doing this thing, walking around, right? Doing the, uh, and everyone was sitting there going, what's what? This is so uncomfortable. Picture that with Elizabeth Warren. Oh. She's so disrespectful to Elizabeth Warren. Donald Trump just becomes more disrespectful. He's like a boa constrictor. He never releases his squeeze, right? He just, just continues tighter. his assholeish squeeze in a way, in a good way. And so he can't pull it back, and he just has to keep squeezing Elizabeth Warren. He's been so disrespectful to her. I hope it's Elizabeth Warren. I hope she goes after Biden. I hope that she surges in the polls. And I hope to see a debate between Donald Trump and Elizabeth Warren. What do you expect see, there, I'm, uh, I'm, Mr. Marks? I'm wondering if the other people, the races, the debates basically, there's Biden, there's Warren, and a bunch of other people that don't matter. And the yeah. question is if the people who don't matter are going to try going after Biden, since he's the most vulnerable, since, I mean, he's old, stupid, and keeps on making mistakes. Full of gas. Or do they go after Warren, since Biden pretty much has the, for lack of a better phrase, moderate lane all to himself, and everyone else is competing for the, the base yeah. lane, which Warren's in charge of? And are they all going to be gunning for her and trying to knock her down a couple pegs? This cigar smells like weed. 
Oh, it's really disgusting. I think I, I, I agree with you. What do you think, Pentelis? Pentelis, by the way, is Canadian, Canadian Greek. Yeah. So he knows all about countries being destroyed by socialism. Yeah. Yeah, you, Times two. Yes. You brought me here under false pretenses. You told me I get to debate retarded people. You didn't tell me I have to watch them debate each other. <laughs> We're not supposed to use that word. I'm yeah. surprised if it, everyone <laughs> here, though, has been word. saying Bernie Sanders, speaking of retard, Still. Bernie Sanders uh, is not at the top. But gig. Hey, by the way, did you know, did you know Pete Buttgig? Did you know he's a. He's a homosexual, that one. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Good for him. Oh. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. <laughs> Perfect like, name. Like he's gay? Yeah, can't get enough of the okay. man, apparently. Well, his uh, name says it. Beto O'Rourke. <laughs> Here's the funny thing about <laughs> Beto O'Rourke. Can you imagine how much you must suck to go all in by calling the, your country like racist? Right. And you're still pulling behind Andrew Yang? Think about this for a <laughs> second, though. Uh, Beto O'Rourke comes across as more gay than Pete Buttigieg. All right, it is starting. Please, Crowder Debate Stream is the hashtag. <laughs> when you sign up for Mug Club, send us your screenshots. We'll be reading Do them it. throughout the show. All right, George Stephanopoulos, nice. former Clinton staffer. Yes. Another Greekster. On stage, you see them. Sorry. <laughs> they have all met the criteria set by the Democratic National Committee, at least 10 others. And one of those criteria was not having the last name Gebbard. Single debate in a single night with all the top candidates facing off. I wonder what Andrew Yang's it surprise is going to be. Oh, yeah. Mm. He said gold chain. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> no, man, I'm, I'm it's wrestling promos. Oh, who's the hell on the left? I've never seen that person. Uh, Betty? <laughs> That's it? <Just> Betty? <laughs> Betty uh, Karen? From the Flintstones, I think, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I've mi missed here. Mug Club signups. Oh, we're going to have some Bernie trivia throughout tonight. All right, let's hear. Is that Roger Stone? No, that's not Roger Stone. No. Is that the guy from Mad Men? Is that the guy from Mad Men? No, it's, it's Roger Stone. It's Jorge is that Tulsi Gabbard next to him? It's Jorge Mathis. I have no idea. Is that? Who is that? Is that John McEnroe? Oh, Jorge. I got, I got a half right. John McEnroe got with a Rocky Marciano oh, he's nose. Oh, Univision anchor. George Ramos. Oh, yes. that guy. He's John McEnroe, but only that like, guy. more Latino. Okay. All right, let's see. Opening speech. So I expect more of the same. I expect this to be more like the climate town hall than the first debate. Yeah. Meaning I expect it to be so far left. Wait a second. This is nine hours? Uh, it might as well be. Oh, okay. Yeah. This whole ritual is so bizarre. All right, let's see. Can we uh, give us a little more juice there, audio wave? This is our country, too. No, it's not. It is not your country, too, if you are not a legal citizen. Can you imagine that if I just walked in, like, some guy just walked in right now, like, hey, 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 you guys, this is my studio, too. Wait, is he a Mexican Wait, do you national? Here? No, I break the lock. I don't know what he is. But he's mine, too. Okay? Okay? No, not okay at all. You Jess, he's okay. It's not okay, Jess. No. It's not okay. Okay? No, the opposite of okay. He's mine, too. Okay? He's mine, too. Give me your beer. I played your beer. Uh, there you go, there's Stephanopoulos. By the way, do you notice that his hair is less gray than it used to be, Stephanopoulos? Mm. Obviously just for men. I, th I think he got the endorsement deal. You can't say that. This guy. Just for men. George, Jorge, not Tulsi. Look at Bernie! Look at Bernie! He even, even from behind, his profile looks like Dr. Jekyll, who couldn't finish the transformation. <laughs> Halfway in between. Look at that, right there. It's like, it, it, it's bizarre. It doesn't fit. It's too small on his shoulders and too tight. Too big on his shoulders and too tight around his his blacks he's a miracle all right let's hear these are the rules right now recognize polls with the leading candidates in the center all candidates have been told they can have one minute oh that's mean they put o'rourke who's the only really tall guy there in between yang and castro someone just read the last names and said hey guys you're gonna love what i did with a, with a standing place no work Oh. 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 Drink, 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 everybody. Pandering in Spanish, and it's not even a work or Booker yet. Yeah, on January twentieth, twenty twenty-one, at twelve oh one p.m., we're going to have a Democratic president, a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate. He's talking a lot of shit. He just decided he wanted to just <laughs> talk a lot of crap. I keep waiting, Rug. I keep waiting for him to say, oh my. <laughs> and we won't solve them That's by a different gay guy. old ideas. We need right, no, old ideas. We need new ideas, like old-style European yes. socialism. new old ideas. Yeah. New, is, new is the new old. ...in the clean energy economy. A tax system that rewards people who have to a weird face, this guy, huh? Mm. Yeah. Wait, a tax system that rewards people who have to work for a living? So we're going to cut the trillions of dollars in entitlements and welfare? How about that, right? for a bold future. That's what... He didn't specify what people who work for a living. Whoa, whoa, that's not what Kennedy did. It's what Clinton did. No, it's no, yeah, Kennedy Obama did Marilyn Monroe. And it's what I can do in this race. <laughs> Both Kennedys. Get back Michigan, Wisconsin, All and Pennsylvania 
Florida, ah. Georgia, and Arizona. Oh, Teddy passed on. Finally, turn Texas blue and say goodbye to Donald Trump. No. He's saying turn Texas blue, but he's right next to a work. He's like, yeah, you know, uh, I tried that. <laughs> I barked up that tree. <laughs> I was raped. Oh, there. Who is this person? Let's see. That what unites Karen. us up here, the ten of us, is much stronger than what divides Amy. us. Amy. Old droopy eye. What's, what's an Amy Klobuchar? Country, too. Now, I may Somebody not needs be to get their aunt the off the stage. Up here, <laughs> but I think we've already got that in the White House. Houston, I that we joke. have a problem. It wasn't a joke. I'm sure it wasn't funny. <laughs> yeah. we Houston, have we have a problem. Stop that talking. is literally running our country like a game show. He would rather lie than lead. Who am oh, I? Okay. Well, I one thing I also like different. is I think he's running it like a I'm game show. Well, hold on a second. Truth. At least a I game show has to be profitable. You run it like an unprofitable <laughs> think tank. You run it like it's <laughs> gawker. Yeah. And that's much. Yeah. Yeah. She's complaining about him running as a game show while they're on a program that's across between a joint press conference yeah. and Monday Night Raw. They're, they're, they're like, oh, I can't believe he runs it like a game show. Your lead-in was Entertainment Tonight yeah. with a guy who had a yeah. four-episode arc on True Blood. <laughs> This is a farce. This whole thing is a farce. Stuck in the middle of the extremes in our politics, and you are. Oh, by the way, G. Morgan Jr. will be here later, but we have Gerald B. in his place right now. There he is, beautiful. Oh, he disappoints me. He always Gerald. He disappoints me. For all. And so does Gerald B. Yeah, just just give her a vanity clap. Well, they have. I'm, I'm, Hold on a second. I'm, I'm just going to drink and now. An honor to be on this debate stage. It is wonderful to be back in Texas, Dios in mio. Houston, back here at TSU. Where you lost last August year? third, two years ago, in El Paso, Texas, two things became crystal clear for me, and I think produced a turning point for this country. Number one, I don't speak the Spanish. The first is just how dangerous <laughs> Donald one. Trump is. The cost and the consequence. Of his presidency. You're losing hold on, hold on, guys. Yeah, exactly. I want to hear the opening statements a little bit. Long been a part of America, was welcomed out into the open and directed to my hometown of El Paso, Texas. Oh, we're, we're 22. We're blaming El Paso killed. on Donald uh, Trump. Got it. What about Ohio, where the guy was an act? He was an openly self-avowed Warren supporter. What about that? Did he say my town? What about the guy who tried to shoot the guy next to you on stage, Bernie Sanders, uh, or, or a guy who supported no, Bernie, Bernie support, Sanders? Yeah. Who, who, who do you try to shoot? We can't hold politicians responsible for crazy people. By the way, if someone if someone came out and tried to shoot up the studio and said, long live Beto, I wouldn't hold it against Beto. Even though I could score political points. All right, let me hear the rest of his opening speech. We have to see clearly, and probably we have to speak to honestly, time. and we have to act decisively. Well, that's that's be what difficult I want to do for you. for you as President of the United States. Oh, good. Thank control. you. But you know what? You guys do have a gun problem around here. Because I got this right here. Out of Wendy's. <laughs> Two cheeseburgers. It's not even what you ordered. <laughs> no, but I was like, all right. Gun violence, the substandard housing, but it was my greatest mentor, a woman named Miss Virginia Jones. Your community doesn't have water right now. What I also find funny is he just talked about gun violence in his community. New Jersey has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. So they always try to say, look at Texas, look at the gun violence. And Beto says it's because of our gun laws. And then in New Jersey, they have the same problem. I said, well, it's because they're getting guns from out of state. But hold on a second. That's not true. It's not happening in those other states. Yeah. Just like in Chicago. They go, they're getting the guns from Chicago. They're getting the guns from Indiana. Well, what's the gun crime in Indiana? They have no answer for it. It's not a federal failure. It is a failure of places that don't allow people to protect themselves. What is Booker T-Bag saying? I want to see what he's saying. Yeah, and common so purpose. Good. The differences amongst us Democrats on the stage are not as the great stage. as the urgency for us to unite as a party, not just to beat Donald Trump, but to unite America in common cause and common purpose. I like that. That's why I'm running for president, and that's how I will lead this nation. You see what the problem is? I like what he said, unite America, right? Get everybody together. But he didn't actually lay out a plan. He, he just said, I want us something. all to get along, and we're going to make things oh, look work. look at that. Andrew Yang did a bro clap. around the almighty dollar. Our schools, our hospitals, you are getting our media, <laughs> even our government. <laughs> it's why we don't trust our institutions anymore. We have to get our country working for us again instead of the other way around. We have to see ourselves as the owners and shareholders of this democracy rather than inputs into it's a, a giant It's a constitutional machine. republic, not a democracy. When you donate money to a presidential campaign, what happens? The politician spends the money on TV ads and consultants and you hope it works out. It's time to trust ourselves more than our politicians. That's why I'm going to do something unprecedented tonight. Well, Wear a tie. Like, my campaign will now give a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month for an entire year. It's to time to trust families. ourselves more Someone than our politicians. Right now. Vote for me and trust that I will give you all $1,000 yeah. every month, no questions asked. 
Wait, is that what he's saying? Yes. We'll help you do just that. This is how we will get our country working. Oh, that's the scream of a college student. Yeah. $1,000 a month no matter what. Wow, I won't be such a failure with my gender study degree! I'm going that's to Forever 21! That, that's what the guy who splintered before who is turned this into a guy? rat said! Oh, that, that, that's Pete Buckingham. He's gay. Hey. And doubtful at the very moment we need to rise. He looks like a 52-year-old kid. We've ever seen. As <laughs> he looks like Pete Buttigieg had sex with a more tired, dead Pete Buttigieg. He does look like he's sick tonight. Stake in our national leadership. It's the AIDS. We keep sending oh, gosh. <laughs> to Washington, asking them to fight. He's in, for yeah, us, he's starring in the remake of there, Philadelphia. They seem yeah. more interested in the part about <laughs> fighting <laughs> than the part. That's just stage makeup. Show. Good Wait, he's, is supposed to he's be the mayor of South Bend, Indiana? Are yeah. these jokes making themselves up? By the way, for people who are watching <laughs> this tonight, I, do need to, I should have let you guys know this. Because we don't want to be removed, this is kind of a watch along. So watch on your TV or have another tab open because if we show this at too much at all, they're going to boot us yep. from YouTube. So some people uh, last time were complaining, saying, well, I couldn't really see it or hear it. This is actually kind of like a, a debate companion because if we show you too much right now, we're all going to be given the old heave ho. So turn it on, and then we'll provide some commentary. That way, uh, of course, hopefully we're not interrupting the very uh, important and eloquent uh, yes. Pete Buttigieg there. Who's, who's gay? Yeah, he, did yeah. you know that he really... Wait, does he bring it up a lot? Is that why we're saying it? No, it was one time I walked in a room, and Pete Buttigieg was in there, and there was another guy, and his, his penis was in him. <laughs> that's how I found so out. So you thought he was... <laughs> no, I think yeah. Andrew Yang promised $1,000 to 10 people. She's going to promise to incarcerate 10 people. Yeah. Yes. Under a group. So President Trump... Written down just for the fuck of it. Let it never be said that all black people can sing. She, she, <laughs> Aretha, she is not. She's wider than Cory Booker. You have used hate, right. intimidation, fear, <sighs> and over 12,000 lies as a way to distract... What? From your failed 12, policies. Lies? Enough about me, Kamala. More about you. As a way to distract from your failed policies, like record low unemployment, specifically an all-time low unemployment for black women where it's below 5% and it's never seen that before. We have more GDP than anywhere else in the world. Wage growth that we haven't seen in a very long time. It is time for Donald Trump to answer for his what? What was that? I defer to the next candidate. He's a jerk on Twitter. <laughs> oh, orange man back. Where we live or the party with which we're registered. Okay, this is going to get me in trouble. Tweet me at S. Crowder. But right off the bat, right, she's running as the black candidate. She's been talking about it nonstop, right? She's a black African-American candidate. I get it. I understand it. Okay, fine. But why straighten the hair? You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why straight? Just, you know, go into it full tilt. What about Cory Booker? Isn't he a black hat? Maybe it's her natural yeah. do. I have no idea. Andrew Yang? No. Deep her might not be a part of her vocabulary when she goes into the salon. Uh oh, there, there it is. There, there's a boy. Vermont. Good thing. Senator Sanders. He looks like he was waiting for more applause. Like, I can't I hear, hear the laughter anymore. <laughs> or in the media. And that is, it goes without saying yeah. that we must and will Real defeat raspy. Trump, the most dangerous president in the history of this country. Oh what? man, I really feel like we should have had the word dangerous we in the drinking game. <laughs> Bernie wants to top him, I guess. We'll let it now, we dangerous drink. Do more. All right, we we'll, we'll drink on the word dangerous as well. We'll do it. That this country is moving into an oligarchic form drinking on of dangerous. Is he dying as he's speaking right now? It's doing the Bernie voice. It, it, it's really <laughs> yeah, rough on you. Political life of this country. Right. He I'm just said we're moving into an oligarchy. And then watch him complain about deregulation, which, by the way, is true. Trump has deregulated a lot. Trump has removed the centralized power a lot for all of his faults. But they can't say oligarchy. Like He is pushing for an oligarchy, I believe, in a government for the people by the guy who wants to tax everyone and give a $1,000 a month. We're the ones who fight the oligarchy. The guy who deregulates, he wants all your shit. I don't, it is remarkable to me they try, here's the deal, you cannot successfully have an oligarchy if you want a government that is less centralized, that has less power, yeah. that is the opposite of an oligarchy. You cannot have a religious oligarchy if you believe in freedom of expression, freedom of religion. You cannot have a fascist if they are the ones supporting freedom of speech across the board. You cannot have a violent tyrant who wants to lock up citizens and have gulags if 
This person defends individuals' right to bear arms. That's what's crazy to me. Think about this. The most dangerous things that a government could do, if we're talking about moving towards an oligarchy, right? If we're talking about moving towards some kind of a dictatorship, the most dangerous things they could do would be silence your speech, slowly erode it, remove your ability to defend yourself, slowly erode those Second Amendment rights, and increase the size and scope of the federal government. Right. That's what they want to do across the board. Donald Trump is a dick. He wants to do the opposite of that. Who do you think is more damaging as an oligarch? Donald Trump? Do you think it's, do you think it's gonna be Barron? Baron Trump, who his mom caught him jeweling, and so now we have I'm a vape sorry. ban, which of course I'm against. <laughs> yeah. Or Elizabeth Warren. Imagine Elizabeth Warren having the power to prosecute political dissidents. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't have the attention span to be an oligarch. I didn't hear anything <laughs> that the native lady said. He'd start, being, he'd start being an oligarch. It's like, ooh, a dog. Oh, hold on. Bite. It's the, uh, the reptilian the overlord. phrase that uh, sticks with me my whole life. He said, we're doing it because we refuse to postpone. Well, I refuse to postpone one more minute spending billions of dollars on curing cancer, Alzheimer's, and other diseases which have been. He must have really deep pockets. Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean we spend billions of dollars on curing cancer? Good to understand it, Mr. Pink Eye. Now I get it. I refuse to not spend. What's your buying power there, Biden? I refuse to wait another day, like you sat out the last election, allowing Hillary to fend for herself when you knew it was a slaughter. I have decided that I will make a stand now to spend your money. Keep this in <laughs> mind. When they talk about all of their plans, what they're ultimately talking about, unless someone is up there talking about slashing spending and limiting government programs, they are talking about what to do with your money and how to take more of it. They are spending nothing. By the way, you can also verify that through their charitable contributions. Bernie Sanders, less than 2%, and hilariously, he tips 18% on the dollar. <laughs> Whether it is a two fifty dollars latte yes. or it's a meal for $300, out at a steakhouse, Bernie Sanders tips no more than 18 percent. All right, Stephanopoulos. The goal of defeating President Trump, driving the country in a new direction. But out on the campaign trail, you have outlined big differences over how far to go and how fast to go. And, and Vice President Biden, the differences between you and the senators on either side of you tonight strike at the heart of this primary debate. Both senators Warren and Sanders want to replace Obamacare with Medicare for all, you want to build an Obamacare, not scrap it. They propose spending far more than you to combat. By the way, look at how they set that up. Yeah. It's Bernie and San, uh, Bernie, sorry, right now, and Warren right yeah. now competing for the crazy socialist leftist versus what they see as a moderate centrist, Biden. Imagine yes. if we said that 10 years ago. Um, so they put them side by side. They both support Medicare for all, and Biden wants to expand Obamacare. Yeah. This is by design. That's yeah. very clever on the behalf yeah, of ABC. The senator says she's for Bernie. Well, I'm for Barack. I think the Obama. Hi, Barack. Hey, his eyes getting red already. Do you see that? Do it. Replace everything that's been cut. Add a public option. Guarantee. Isn't that he the same guy that refuses to, to stop touching kids? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You remember correctly. Look, his eye is getting red already. Do you see it? Look at what costs are. Oh yeah. Look at that. Healthcare costs a lot of camera money. Camera B, zoom it in, please. It costs seven hundred forty <laughs> billion dollars. It does love cost God, get the camera off his eye. Trillion dollars. <laughs> 3.4 trillion. Does the year public option uh, include Visine? I hope he slips <laughs> up. He's like 3.4 trillion, little girl. Uh, uh. <laughs> that's all I'm asking for. Uh. I want to hear tonight how that's happened. So as far as my distinguished friend, the senator on my left, I think you should have gone eye patch. He forgot the names. Oh, by the <laughs> way, I forgot. They said health, Medicare, health care for all, drink. Oh, drink. drink. Oh, he's going to pay for it, but it gets him about halfway there. There's a lot of other things that need to be done. I have a bold plan to deal with making sure we triple the money for at-risk schools that are uh, Title I schools. That, from that has nothing to do with health care. I love this passive aggressive. Nothing to do with healthcare. He's like, I love these guys, but the, they're, they're both idiots. Hey. But I love them. I lay out yeah, By the wait, tweet us if you sign up for Mug Club. Uh, promo code hashtag Crowder Debate Stream. $20 off. Tweet us. When we come back from the break, we'll read some of your, uh, some of your screenshots and read your name on air. Because we're that important. My established uh, colleagues, uh, Chief, Chief Lying Face over here. Tweet us if you think that Bernie She smiles Sanders. like a Wallace and Gromit cartoon. <laughs> Bernie looks like a cartoon turtle, man. He looks like a <laughs> so let's be clear about health care, and let's actually start health where the president did. Drink. We all owe a huge debt to President Obama who fundamentally transformed health care in America and committed Which is why people this country voted for Donald Trump. to health care right. for every human being. 
We all owe a debt of gratitude to President Obama yeah. for fundamentally handing us over to President Trump, which in the scenario that I become the candidate for at least a guaranteed eight years. Possible cost. How do we pay for it? We pay for it. Those at the very top. Yep, the I, I, I was going to drink uh, Richest, those at the top, top 1%. Are drink, everybody. There we go. See, that's not fair, though. Are going to pay less. No, no, that's no. how this is going to work. Uh, Direct question. You said middle class families are going to pay less, but will middle class taxes go up to pay for the program? I know you believe that the deductibles and the premiums question. will go down. Will middle class taxes go up? Will private insurance be eliminated? Look, what families have to deal with is cost. Total cost. Oh, she's that's not answering the question. Right. It will go up. And well, she is running from the question. The, <laughs> literally. Families pay every time an insurance The cost of their taxes is going up. You can't see that specialist. Every time we can't see the specialist. I, I want to hear her care. answer here. That doctor is out of network. Sorry, we are not covering that prescription. Oh, by the way, we're talking about it. Bring this up as an overlay. Half of doctors no longer accept new Medicare patients or Medicaid patients, and half the ones that are listed who accept Medicaid under the Obama exchange right now are actually no longer in practice. So while we're talking about choice. What's going to happen in families' pockets? It's what's going to happen in their budgets. And the answer is on Medicare for all. Costs are going to go up for wealthier individuals, and costs are going to go up for giant corporations. But for hardworking families across the I believe the country, question, uh, yeah, Senator, was, was uh, taxes. 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 Taxes for 200. In our health. You know what I like about all these Questions three? you don't answer for 400, please. <laughs> Show me bullcrap. You know what I like about all three of them? It's nice they're, to see the young, the young people in politics. Yeah. I like yes. <laughs> involved. Let's go to Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Status quo over 10 years. Oh, oh, calm down there, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, audio wait has his work cut out yeah. for us. Yeah. Study done shows that Medicare for all is the most cost-effective For a minute there, Bernie almost broke into Stephen's impersonation. To every man, yeah. woman, and child in this country. Incorrect. I, who wrote the damn bill, if I may say so. Well, he said, damn. <laughs> oh, no. Damn, if I may say To eliminate so. all out-of-pocket expenses, all deductibles, all co-payments. Nobody in America will pay more than $200 a year for prescription drugs because we're going to stand up to the greed and yes, corruption. Yes, because drugs don't cost money to make. When he says, oh, we're not going to let them charge that, what does that mean? He's going to rob from Peter to pay Paul. He's going to take more money from you, the taxpayer, to try and somehow subsidize drug prices. That's what he wants to do. And by the way, punish pharmaceutical companies. Who will? What will they do? They'll stop inventing new drugs. Hey, Pantelis, do you know how many new drugs are coming out of Canada today? How many? None. None. None at all. Because Canada is a silly place that doesn't have the buying power to create new drugs, and there's no incentive to do so. For the same reason that doctors are leaving. That's what people need to talk about here. Well, how, how are you going to stop drug companies from charging what they need to for drugs? They go, well, this is often what you hear from Bernie Sanders. It only costs like 28 cents to make a pill. Right, but the first pill sold costs $280 million. That's the point, is to bring it to market, Bernie. I don't know about you. Yes, I think some drug companies, they take advantage. But I want more drugs out there. I want more options and cures. Anyone out there have family members who might have cancer or might be dealing with life-threatening uh, illnesses? Anyone out there glad that you don't have polio or TB today? Why do we want to stop that gravy train? By the way, you know who else relies on us creating more drugs? Not just Canada. Every, but everyone else? Yeah, the entire world. You got it. It's a trick question. Oh. Canada doesn't need new drugs. We're very healthy. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Canada's very healthy. <laughs> That's, you can, it's, it's a lot easier to have a, a longer, a lower mortality rate when you, you don't have to fight any wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cost you in your pay. There will be a deductible in your paycheck. You're going to the middle class person, someone making sixty grand with three kids, they're going to end up paying five. I really think at this point, Biden, I don't even get to touch those kids. Biden is praying for someone to top him in the polls so he can drop. Someone bring this up. Oh, this is really Biden. important, by the way. Someone right now who's making sixty thousand dollars a year or less, uh, particularly people who are making forty thousand dollars a year or less, when you account for net federal transfers, meaning what they pay in income taxes, and then you account for all of the public programs, the EBT, the uh, the supportive programs that they benefit from, they pay net negative income tax. Net negative income tax. When we talk about paying fair share, what should they pay? 2%, 5%, 10%, 20%? No! You don't want to know anything about that. What we want them to pay is uh, uh, nothing, and we also want to give them a tax break. So people right now who are making 100000 a year, families, they're the only ones. People who are making more than that are paying taxes. That's why they want to increase taxes on them. I think everybody should pay something. How about that? Yes. Every person should pay something in taxes. 
the hobo on the street who the guy with no legs who just pushes himself around on a skateboard and i don't know how he always does he have grip tape on his lower torso i have no idea i mean i knew one guy he, who would play, he would play the whole star wars theme song in the montreal subway with nothing but two pan flutes and a dog and an empty toilet paper roll i don't know how he did it It was very That's impressive skills. but that guy should pay something from the hat i dropped some change into <laughs> oh look they're fighting this america there you go. People can see that. Go check the resource for yourself. Google it. And they guarantee health care to all people under my Medicare for all proposal. This is oddly sexual. Right. We, need, we need some more uh, beer, guys. Yeah. Bring uh, it in. Uh, bring it over there. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what your name is. I'm getting low, too, so. I have Come here. I, I guess, yeah, we can mix it. It's cost effective health care. Thank you. Okay, get out. Get out. Will save well, what? Wait, the I need a beer. American substantial this? sums of money on his or her. Healthcare Senator, bill. Senator Klobuchar, you said in your Thank opening you. By the way, healthcare oh, bill, middle class, we really deserve to be drinking. Oh, he this is a mix, me. by the way, of Fancy Mold and something else. Oh, you know, the know, surf, I, I, hey, come back here. Come, come back here. Come back here, surf number two. Somebody punch him in the side of the head right now. Hold on a second. Come here. Come here. Come here. Did you guys see this? Did you guys see this overflow? Yep. First of all, Sanders Neil. Neil. I mean, yeah. Come here. Come in closer. We can't just so people can see. Do you see this? Do you see this phone? Give me your hand. For drugs to come in from Give me your hand. Expensive countries like Canada. Knuckles down. Yeah. We have worked to bring ah. down the cost. Ah. Good. Did he just burn his hand? I don't know yeah. if I agree with this. I, yeah, wait, 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 wait a second. I still need a napkin. Prices under Medicare. I figured that's a lot. I got one. I got one. Here you go. You can't find one, good slaves nowadays. Yeah. Is there someone you can call? Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Guys. You, you should have hired Pan Tellus as a slave. He comes prepared. I come prepared. Well, you know, it's not. It's just. It's just. There's no. I like the chase, and the Greeks are just too easily conquered. <laughs> what are you talking about? The Spartans, man. Yeah, it's the opposite. That's the truth. If we were easily conquered. That's true. I'm sorry. Trouble. Your people revolted because they have to retire at the ripe old age of 54 now. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Nobody controls us. <laughs> I don't think that's a bold idea. I think it's a bad idea. And what I favor is something that what don't you beat the crap Obama out of you, Steph? To do from the very <laughs> she's totally alliteration. Like she's a black <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the, the, by the way, for people who don't know, <laughs> Club Char is Club Char is a. Uh, oh, this is not oh, fair. No, that's... Oh no, hold on a second. Hopper's the eating the bread line. Hopper, come people. here. <laughs> come here, Hopper. Hopper, come here. And come here. Hopper hasn't put one minute of work in. <laughs> This is a horrible idea. Never work with kids and dogs. Hopper decided he was going to eat the bread line. Hopper, you <laughs> just Get him out of here. Get this little hellhound out of here. Come on. And I don't want to have to push him because then I'm going to be I'm going to be a viral video like that girl from YouTube. They're going to say, abuse a dog. Just, here. Just throw, throw the bread line out. <laughs> Sorry, Hopper. Later, dudes. Right, by the way, before we go, because we do have uh, Dave Rubin coming up in not too long, we actually do have a correspondent here. We want to check in. Our, oh, our, yes. Uh, uh, do we have him, our socialism correspondent? Our, do we have him there, Quarter Black Garrett? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can we check in with our, our, our uh, Marxism correspondent, Gulag Greg? Gulag Greg, are you there, sir? Black Greg, listen, um, I don't know what you got yourself into here, but there is some... Uh, some oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Is that a sex We'll check back in with him. Yeah, we're going to have to come back. It, pull some stuff together and we'll... At least he gets per diem? Uh, I mean, maybe. All right, let's see what uh, the next question is here. We'll have Dave Rubin up next, and we'll have some trivia for you right before uh, Dave Rubin, and uh, the winner gets, um, I don't know, a free Gulag Greg t-shirt. Oh, these kids still does <laughs> The winner gets Something that doesn't exist. Hold on, Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg. I want to see what Buttigieg is saying. I think you know we he's do gay. have to go far beyond I, I tinkering with the ACA. I he never mentioned Medicare it once so far. For Medicare for all drink, everybody. Oh. Oh. Of Medicare. We make it available for the American people. And if we're right oh. as progressives that that public alternative is good. better, then the American people will figure that out for themselves. I trust the American people. By the way, we have this as a right source. This is one thing for people out there who are watching. You need to know. But which one is my camera there, Quarter Black Garrett? Is it the one with the light in the middle? It's, it's all of those. Those are all all of those, but which one should I be looking? Am I am I pointing? Huh? Is it that, this one? One? that one? That's that one. It's the one. square. Okay. For people out there, you should know I have three cameras here because we have a lot going on today. You gotta have it covered. Um, what was I about to say before this? Oh, the Medicare for all. They say Medicare for all is. Uh, listen, of course, it's the most popular program out there. When they're polled, people like it. It's actually, I think, uh, too cute. Maddie can bring it up. I think 16% of Americans actually support Medicare for all when they know that it would eliminate private insurance, which, according to their own web pages, when you look at Bernie, when you look at Warren, they will do away with private insurance. So when you say, "Hey, what do you think about Medicare for all?" People say, "Well, that sounds nice, right?" 
It's yeah. Medicare, oh. and it's for all. Well, for those two things, you put those, you sandwich those words together, I think I'm on board with it. And you say, how do you feel about Medicare for all if it eliminates all private insurance and the number goes down to, well, no. Yeah. You're just an asshole who wants to take away my plan. Yeah. That's what's happening. Hey, I think Steven, we have, do we have that there, yeah. uh, too cute, Maddie? I think it's 16%. It looks like it's 13%. 13%. The, the source Ooh. is the hill. Well, you know, listen, the one thing you can say about this show is I under-promise and over-deliver. <laughs> That's true. I got a question. Yes. Stephen, why don't you run for politics? Uh, well, because um, I uh, love my country and I hate myself. <laughs> Not to mention, have you ever watched this show? That almost sounds like a reason, like I should run for politics. <laughs> Wait a second. Hmm. No, I think if I if I loved myself and hated my country, I would be on that stage right uh, now. Yeah, because look at is. the stage. I think you could. Uh, I think you could do well. I don't think they're gonna. They just take this stream. Like, uh, may I present to you, Your Honor, Exhibit A, uh, the host extinguishing a cigar on an alleged <laughs> slave's hands. What else you can do to a slave? Yes. And then he pushed his dog out for. Oh, he, he was a dog who had lymphoma. He just wanted a piece of red, Your Honor. Can we? There would be a, the attack ad. Steven Crowder doesn't feed his dog. It's all black and white. That doesn't sound like the man we should trust in office, right? Right. It's not true. He feeds the dog. I saw him, but he beats the crap out of his wife. Though. That's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, Mr. Biden, you ever rebelled with Steven Crowder? Like, yeah, did you see the video when he dresses a tranny and you get Eric <laughs> Wendy Davis? I rest my case. Oh, she's doing thumbs down. What is she doing, the Caesar thing? Yeah. We're talking about gladiatorial fights. She's about to dance. <laughs> All right, hold on, I need to hear this. Fast forward to today, and what is happening? Donald Trump's Department You know what's great about Kamala Harris? Uh, I can hear you, and everyone else can hear you. There's no not here. He's like, you know what? Let yeah, me hear did, what Kamala he Harris has to say. Over, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Tell me a secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say any, anything she says today, she's gonna have a different opinion tomorrow. Oh, is she a flip flopper? Donald Trump. Not even her. She has a no. She would flip flop the mayor. That's a slur. She would flip flop the mayor. She basically would grab an Indian sunburn and then treat it like one of those things that escapes your hand Google. at a dollar store. You know, you're like, oh, yeah, well, oh, oh it keeps falling. Yeah. I think he was uncircumcised, so the comparison works. So this, this Google Kamala Harris started a mayor? career by screwing a mayor and drink. All right. If we don't get Donald Trump out of office, he's going to get rid of all of it. George, 15 seconds. Yeah, he's going to get rid of all of it. Well, Donald Trump you were way blacker than her. <laughs> Your quarter black is more black than she's like one sixteenth black. I know. Medicare for all. Medicare, Medicare for all. Everybody drink. If you want Medicare, if you lose the job from your insurance company, from your employer, you all these years in the public eye, and Joe Biden has the understanding of how microphones work. He, he understands the proximity effect about as well as Brodigan. <laughs> No, he's not hey, good me, at proximity. Hey, let me tell you a no. secret. <laughs> no means Hold on, no. Hold Stephen can't hear me, right? <laughs> I looked on the board for Biden's mic. <laughs> I think he's like, got the fun on. You negotiated his union all these years, got to cut in wages because you got insurance. They're going to give back that money hey, Gerald, to the what do you think employee? That? Matter of fact, they will. Well, anyway, <laughs> Hold on a second. I love this. You, for a socialist, you got a lot more confidence in corporate America than I do. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh. What's the over right under? now, people. But like, I wish he'd out. do that to me. <laughs> oh. I want to see them go at it. Yeah. Joe oh, Biden, yeah. do that. Do that to me. Choke me a little. <laughs> Rough me up. Ow. Oh no, Joe, stop. Ah. I'm not doing anything. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gay. I don't know if you knew. Oh, yeah. oh he's so oh, angry. Look at this. I love how your butt kicking impersonation sounds like Hank Azaria. Yes. Under my legislation, people will not go into financial ruin. Because they <laughs> with the Wait, are, financial ruin. Are you talking about the film <laughs> Dune? <laughs> Frank Herbert, I think, yeah. <laughs> Paul Biden's going to report. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Every single person who is diagnosed with cancer or any other disease can automatically become part of this plan. Oh. They will not automatically you bankrupt hear that? because of that. So they everybody out there, you just need to get get yourself some cancer. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, this is the first good now. thing that any of them have ever said. Let's let's hear this. Come on. Uh oh. You've been there. You've been there. You know what it's like. People need help now, hope now, and do something now. Agreed. Wait, yeah. again, no substance. No su <laughs> yeah. Again. Do now, good things now. But he doesn't say now. anything. We need Listen, good now. Um, hey, but uh, uh, former Vice President Joe Biden, should we do uh, bad things chance. later? <laughs> yes, that remains to be seen. <laughs> but right now, we are in the now. But yeah. when is then? Now. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> 
<laughs> when will now be then? I'm not sure. <laughs> the stone is saying is, something. Then will be what now was. Soon. By the way, does my eye look funny? It's like, <laughs> it looks like the Goonies. <laughs> Uninsured and, and in conclusion, for, I love in you, a state Obama. Like Texas, where the largest provider of mental health care services is the county jail system, we've got to do better. In okay, my that's not good. That's true. We've got to do better for America. Says everyone is that on the drinking? Kamala Harris trying to rest more people. I like me some of that. Oh, let me let me hear what Beto has to say because it's going to be very short. Can move over to Medicare. And They're going to play him off. Members of unions who fought for the health care plans that work for them and their families are able to keep them. That is the best possible path forward. This is the top issue for everyone. You know these debates need a giant gong. One minute to respond. So Say, all right, hold on. This is going to be a speed round, so let's Andrew hear this. Yang, and then Senator, Senator Booker, you uh, all get a minute. Uh, thank you. And, you know, I also want to recognize uh, the work that Bernie has done on this. Oh, he's uh, still here. Of course. It's my stage, too. Oh, my. I'm still here. It's my stage, too. This guy's getting the trans vote. <laughs> Now, on the last debate stage in Detroit, you said that wasn't true when Senator Harris brought that up. There was a uh, fact check of that, and they said that was true. Oh! Uh, I grew up with a grandma. Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Did Julian Castro just white knight uh, for Elizabeth Warren? She had Medicare. <laughs> Yes. I want every or was it Harris? That's not a well, I, I mean, it, He's uh, mansplaining what Warren wanted to say. <laughs> is it white knighting? Would it be brown knighting for him? Choose to hold on to strong, solid private brown health noser. insurance. Brown I believe noser. they should be able ah. to do that. But, the but it kind of looks like yellow knighting, and I know it gets to be on Clever and Morky territory. But you know, I, I don't care. Well, no, like, Andrew Yang is the one of yellow knights. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying he looks more like he could be Andrew Yang's brother than you know someone who's in a cage on the border. It'd be funny if that's how he starts. That is actual twin brother. Julian Castro, no relation. To Fidel <laughs> starts every my sentence with that. that. Your plan it's my gun. Oh, okay. no. They do not have to buy in. You just, right, said, that. You just no. said that two minutes ago. Oh, you just said two minutes ago in. that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. To buy in. If you uh, for are, you, are you forgetting what you said? Oh, this, this is, is really like an angry off. drunken uncle at Thanksgiving. You said that we couldn't wear sweaters. It was it was dress casual and it required a blazer. And you weren't. Well, I just wear a sweater vest. This is my thing. I wear the sweater vest. You said we all had to wear jackets, and now I'm wearing. I had to go to Men's Warehouse and buy this, Joe. I didn't tell you to go to Men's Warehouse. What is he saying? I never said that. You did that by yourself. For instance. Oh. True. His health care plan would not That's pretty much exactly what it's like. You, you would have to opt in. <laughs> My health care plan would. That's a big deal. Oh, Dave Rubin. That's right. We have to get yeah, Dave Rubin here on the, on the program really soon. Surprise. Let me know when we have him. And you're not. I'll be surprised to him. Andrew Yang. Ooh. What is this, a sitcom laugh track? Oh. Oh, oh Andrew Yang. Let's hear this. Yeah. Look, yeah, where, this where reminds this everybody of what they cannot I, stand about Washington. Can Scoring I, points against each other. Let Yang speak. Other, you're not and Andrew Yang. Shut that, up, Booty. You're my plan. Your plan. Look, we all. Yeah, that's have called a Democratic primary election. He, about that's everybody. called an election. That's an election. You know? Yeah, that's one thing that drives me insane. It's like, well, we're not here to argue with each other. It's a debate! But they're not debating. Andrew, Andrew Yang, do you regret the day you stole that neighbor's Gran Torino? We're on the same team here. We know we're on the same team. We all have a better vision for health care than our current president. Nope. And I believe we're wrong. talking about this the wrong way. As someone who Andrew Yang, entrepreneur. Business, I know that our current health care system makes it harder to hire people, makes it harder to give them benefits and treat them as full-time employees. Mm -hmm. But if you gave them $1,000 a month. It's harder to change yes. jobs. It's certainly harder to start a business. The pitch we have to make to the American people is you are getting the health care <laughs> weight off of your backs and then unleash the hopes and dreams of the American people. Senator now, Becker I am Asian, so I know a lot of doctors. And they <laughs> <laughs> I know them. I, I, I love this guy. What do you think they would have said if Donald we Trump was like, hey, you're Asian, so you probably know a lot of doctors, right? They're like, that can't. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> what does he mean by that? I, I know a lot of doctors. We're going to build our iPhones here now. <laughs> I got the people. All right, we have Dave Rubin. stays the same or improves. Steven? All right, we have Dave Rubin right now. People who don't know, Dave Rubin is joining us. Dave Rubin. Uh, you now have okay, access, everyone who uh, who tunes in, who joins Mug Club and Blaze TV, where we're streaming live in case we get booted, you now have access to the Dave Rubin program. Oh, Mr. Rubin, how are you, sir? Crowder, I am very excited to be with you on this night of mental lunacy. Yeah. I know you have a drinking game going. I'm going to open a bottle of wine Whew. for yeah. you right here. Here we go. Now, is that your thing? Are you a wine wine drinker more so than beer? 
guy. I know someone like you insecure about their sexuality. You're probably a more of a whiskey or bourbon guy. No, 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 not at all. I just took you for yeah. a spritzer, man. Yes. No, no, wine guy here. Here we go. All right, uh, Zima. So I'm, very, I'm very excited. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I might follow your lead here and grab a bottle of wild turkey afterwards. It's going. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's still going. It's still hopefully, going. hopefully your hubby, other Dave, uh, is able to hold going. your hair, hold, <laughs> able to hold your hair back. Um, why doesn't Gerald ever do that for us? What's that? What was that? Oh, I was saying, why doesn't Gerald ever do that for us? Yeah. Well, don't listen. Dave okay. Rubin is here. Don't interrupt uh, Dave Rubin. Have you been watching thus far, Mr. Rubin? I have been watching. My tweets have been very, very funny tonight. Um, but, you know, <laughs> they, you know, look, these guys, you know, it's like they think they can solve every problem in the history of the world. They've never accomplished anything. I mean, maybe by a little bit as DP, but none of them have accomplished anything. He became a millionaire politician, you know, who got- Andrew that. Yang a little bit. Andrew Yang had some success in business. Yeah, Yang's the, for sure. Yeah. And I think he's a decent guy. Yeah. Uh, the, the little gimmick at the beginning about giving away the money. It's like, unless you're sending us to a, a chalk factory, just like a bad gimmick. You know? Yeah, it, it doesn't really work. And we'll actually get into that a little bit later, the numbers, why they don't work. They tried it in Canada, in Finland. It was supposed to be a three-year program in Canada, for people who don't know. Uh, they did it for 15 months and immediately abandoned it. <laughs> really? And I think, work. I think the Finns did it a little bit longer, if I'm not mistaken, but that's just because they were bored and they had nothing else to do. It was either Funny. that or watch reruns of Roseanne. Uh, <laughs> and outside of that, uh, they did it in a few states, and it also did not work. Um, hey, hey, Dave, before I, because I know people then should follow your tweets. By the way, do you realize that as you become more right leaning, you're sounding more like Trump? My tweets were hilarious. <laughs> They're the best. Everyone should be following my Twitter, okay? If your Twitter sucks. Um, but. Um, I, by the way, I appreciate that you went with the uh, Tom Cruise on Matt Lauer referring to him as glib outfit tonight. What can people, where, you, you, what's the deal now the with the blaze for people who are watching us and don't know that you are now uh, a, a, a talent and something that uh, they can uh, actually enjoy there at the blaze. This is new. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. So I, look, I've been trying to figure out how do, we, how do we move forward in this technological madness that we're in with big tech companies looking to censor everybody, trust the outfit, the censorship, platforming. And the rest of you know, the last couple of months, uh, time broke the blaze and Glenn and I had been talking and I had a couple offers, but the key thing for me was I want to be in 100% dependent. You know, like I got dependent after many years, I wanted to keep it going. And so we're doing a distribution deal. Get my episodes of the 48 hour bit as well, my, uh, subscribe to my app. Um, but it gives a little flexibility in terms of, uh, Hey, I hate, I hate to cut you off there. Is it just me on this speaker? Or are we having problems with oh, his yeah, audio? Sounds a like bit? he's cutting in. And out. I think we're having a little bit of problems with your audio there. Uh, so uh, that's, we, why I'm, that's why I'm working with Blade. Right. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. But I didn't know that we were going to have to uh, shoulder your tech burden until they told us, like, "Hey, by the way, you guys are now producing Dave Rubin's show." I said, "What? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to put do beds down for his two dogs and stuff too? Because my uh, dog doesn't uh, play well." We're, we're totally independent. But we're linking up with the Blaze to, right. to, for distribution and to figure out just interesting ways for all of us. So they're coming for all of us. So why not figure out who your allies are? We don't all disagree on the same. Yeah. And I think that's important. Like people have talked about, listen, it, it really isn't. You and I probably probably agree on about the same amount that we disagree, but we also understand that the people who disagree with anything we have to say uh, want us gone, and so being under the same umbrella, right, uh, tonight there's the Crowder Debate Stream hashtag, it's also the promo code, people can get $20 off, yep. and I know you have promos if people follow you, uh, join up, you know, Mug Club, Blaze, one and the same in the sense that we operate independently like you, and that's why we partnered up with the Blaze, because it allows us to have uh, an umbrella of support and a place to send people when our streams get banned. All right, Dave, we are having some audio issues, so I'm going to have to let you go. But what, what do you want All to right. say here in closing uh, as you slur your words? In closing, <laughs> I would just like to say that I'm probably going to end up having to run for president in 2020. <laughs> oh. oh, he's that, beating you oh. to it. Well, I tell you what, I already have uh, Ben Shapiro. He agreed to be my VP in 2024. Begged for the bottom oh, of the ticket. It? Yeah, <laughs> begged for it, begged for it. I was like, I don't know. I was thinking, you know, maybe like Mike Pence and Ben Shapiro was like, well, you know, listen, he doesn't have the qualifications. Like he doesn't have the, and I was like, okay, Ben, all right, you can be VP. But it remains to be seen. I may just have him in a cabinet position. And Dave, you and yeah, I check a lot of boxes. Canadian, minority, you know, we, we, we could make it happen. No, listen, I would be fully fine. You, President Shapiro, VP, I'll be press secretary. That works for me. 
Yes, that would be a lot of fun. I would love to see you get caddy with the New York Times. All right, <laughs> Dave Rubin. <laughs> All right. We have to get going. Thank you, sir. Uh, we will go. That's Dave Thank Rubin. You, Dave. you get him at the Blaze now. That if you join good. Mug Club, you get everything there at the Blaze. Have I they know. taken a commercial break yet? No. I don't think Corey so. Booker is talking. He looks angry. Those eyes. Well, he huh? looks like the turtle that still is around in Super Mario World after they've lost the ship. Oh, that's him. Yeah, the, with the <laughs> something it. brothers, right? Right. They have the Hammer Brothers. The Hammer Brothers. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I wonder what happened to his shell. Bernie's wearing it. In <laughs> injustice. Everybody drink. Injustice. Bernie. Drink. Is it booty judge? Race. Booty gig. Race drink. Votes to re-elect President Trump is at best looking racism the other way on Boy. racism. Does that sort of tie Who's racist against this guy? All the blacks. <laughs> I believe no. what's deep in divisions in the country is the conduct of this president, and we have a chance. Why does he keep talking about the president? It's about you, dude. Look, systemic racism precedes. Systemic this president. and racism uh, drink uh, twice. Right. Double. With us. That's yeah, why trying to give us a poison. systemic approach. Can we bring back up the drinking rules for people who are coming to the stream and new? They're too cute, Natty. There you go. All of these. Uh, at this point, just put a drinking three times with every well, answer. Is he saying that Cory Booker's a racist? Saved compound. So does a dollar stolen. And we know that the general Oh, a dollar stolen, like yeah. taking a gunpoint by the federal slaves. government oh, to pay for funny. somebody else's Medicare that half of doctors won't take. Is yes. that what we're talking about? Basically puts us in two different countries. I have proposed have you the seen most this comprehensive before? vision. I, well, I've seen him before in Home Alone 4. You know he's not even Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, well, that was a that was a central Europe. plot line to Home Alone 4. Is that he's gay? Well, yeah, the traps were very different. Oh, okay. <laughs> like someone stepped on some micro machines and they whoa, and it actually led them into a float with a rainbow oh. flag. Ah, yeah. Okay. So it was bo it was both physically harmful and humiliating publicly. Straight to DVD, right? And and not to mention hysterical. Yes. All the traps were thirst related. <laughs> Here's one thing that I can appreciate. As gay as Pete Buttigieg is, and whoa, um, he still, if you were to take gay Pete Buttigieg and the equivalent gay black man, there would still be enough of a divide that bridging it would be awkward and almost insurmountable. Yes. Speaking of bridging, uh, he doesn't seem that gay. Nah, I don't know. I think your eyes Senator deceive you. He could be gay or... Week. I'm just saying. I'm just well, saying. Your, your view is skewed because your people invented it. <laughs> the Greeks. Oh, that's right. The Greeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Greeks. I'm thinking the Canadians. <laughs> Are you? Well, Penn you, know, you know what else we invented? Freedom. <laughs> right. All right? And the modern numerical system that Islam tries to take credit for. Yeah, they try to take credit for a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> not, the, not the much in feta cheese. It's true. It's true. Fetishes. Been, yep. Um, I think she just said something been, sassy. I'm glad you asked me this question, and there have been many she's distortions a Spartan in my kick. record. Let me be okay. Oh, clear. she's gonna be talking about her crime. Uh, I crime made record. a decision to become a prosecutor for two reasons. Because you hate One, political games. I like to put black men in jail. And, and, people and because you had sex with Willie Brown. And second, I was born knowing about how this criminal justice system in America has worked in a way that has been informed by racial bias. A weird book. Uh, racial bias. <laughs> <everybody> <laughs> drink. And so, by the way, I and my family uh, members have personally had. The way to rectify that, to according to Kamala Harris, people who don't know, was harsher people. sentencing for <laughs> non-violent <laughs> yeah. marijuana offenses. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. She was the, she was the worst. She, she might as well have just been walking around with a sign that said, for-profit prison industrial complex ally. Do I, what would that be? F P <laughs> P. <laughs> it's a weird it ends with an A. It's That's a all weird, I know. It's the a weird ally. acronym. Do we have pictures of her when she was in her twenties? Was she cute? You know what? I don't think she's a bad-looking. Yeah, she looks like she could have been, like been cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she looks like a llama. You know, you know who you could ask? Former, former Mayor oh, Willie Brown. Get the llama look. Yes, you could ask former Mayor Willie Brown. And the need to reform the system. Was I able to get enough done? Absolutely not. Was I able to arrest enough people? Was I able? Debatable. Was I able to put enough blacks behind bars? Not as many as I'd like to. Every time I But if you vote for me as president, I promise you that I will incarcerate former President Barack Obama. <laughs> Joe Biden, your stage. And his eye just circling. I like her passion, but I don't like that she hates black people. <laughs> 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 
criminal justice system. We de-incarcerate women and children, that we end solitary confinement, and that we work on keeping families intact. And as president, okay, of hold on a second. States, criminal families? How, how do you yeah, end well, solitary confinement? What? what do you? Uh, basically, what she's saying is that I want to ensure that every single pedophile or wife beater who's put in prison is raped without mercy. Yes. I want them to be yeah, put into general population, their, well, and I want them to be sh basically. I want Jeffrey Epstein's story to be a children's novella compared to what I want to see happen to every single child molester who makes maybe, it in prison. Maybe, maybe that's their definition. Oh, this lady looks uncomfortable. They don't give a harsh sentence, so they feel good about themselves, knowing the harsh sentence they're going to get in prison. Oh, oh, here hold on a second. They went to Klobuchar uh, immediately afterward just to make Kamala Harris seem black. And I think of an alum of that college, Barbara Jordan, and something that she once said. She said, "What the people want is simple. They want a country as good as its promise." And that same can be said of the criminal justice system. So when I was there, the way we yes. handled these... Yes, I want the promise students, of putting felons and criminals in jail to yeah. be fulfilled. <laughs> and then you beat the crap out of your intern with a trapper keeper. <laughs> yes. No, it was a protractor. A protractor. Yeah, it was Pro a protractor. <laughs> she looks like she shit her pants and can't tell us. <laughs> Pretty much. The prosecutor handles them and makes those decisions. By the way, it's time for Gerald B to get out. We have uh, we have Gerald A here. Thank you. There Alpha, he is. He had Alpha a wine Jared. dinner this evening. Yeah. Oh, Gerald B. Gerald Stalin. You thank you for being with us, sir. You are welcome. I am happy to be here right now. Happy well, I don't. I don't know how happy I am that you are here. And it was, it was a massage. I had a massage today. Really? Yeah. Sorry. No? Okay. Good for you. I said wine tasting. Yes. Well, hold on a second here. Okay. Don't take over because Klobuchar is talking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's important stuff. Doing her homework at her kitchen Gerald, table. since you couldn't make it on time, we did the wine of the day without you. Nah, yeah. really? It was a yes. beer? Was it well, barefoot? It's actually the cans on, it's cans on your desk. It was actually just the blood of Pete <laughs> Buttgig that's used to make matzah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did you guys catch that? Oh, did you guys catch yeah, that, that Egyptian later. reference of what they did to Christian? Sure that uh, we don't just do the first step out. Or Jew, what, the anti-Semitic reference, sorry? Yeah, we, Wait, did. Was it? Yes. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got it. It was good. Which means the 90% of people that are incarcerated in local and You know what I just realized? She's still talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's talking about free right criminals. now. Amy Klobuchar's husband is at home going blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> How do you have a debate with seventy-five people on the stage? By the way, how is anything substantive said? Well, uh, oh, like, like Castro, we'll Castro and Yang count as nothing. Half. Senator Has so, he done his thing yet? I Castro seen and Yang count as half, so if you put them oh, under trench coat like uh, the little rascals, yeah. it only takes up one space. Well, well that's okay. So seventy-four. <laughs> well, he's got a story. Right. A big-time law firm. Jeez. I left and became a public defender because my state was under siege. Oh, that's what. Dr. King was and because girls didn't come into my law firm. By the National Guard <laughs> but I got months. to touch them I've been involved as a public from defender. As a young congressman, as a young uh, uh, councilman, I introduced legislation to try to keep them putting young? a sewer plant in And Joe Biden in the same sentence. I made sure that we <laughs> dealt with I love how the only reason he corrected young congressman is because he realized he's getting fact checked on his bullshit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if that like, hadn't uh, happened, he would have said, now, When I was a young uh, congressman at uh, Amy's Diner, <laughs> like that wasn't even a place. You silence. Let me there. reminisce. It was there when I was president. <laughs> <laughs> when I was literally drinking beers with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When we were in the White House, we released 36,000 people from the federal prison system. Nobody should be in jail for a drug. Problem. By the way, no one wants wait, to talk about wait, this. You know who's done more for criminal justice reform is President Donald Trump. Yes. President Donald Trump. Uh, I can't remember the name of this. Uh, someone can get me the name of this. The lady who he let out, who was in there yeah, for nonviolent yeah. crimes. That. Yeah. Black woman. Yeah. He basically was the one who who, who gave her Finally. a complete part. Yeah. Barack Obama had that opportunity to do. Yep. He didn't. Donald yeah. Trump was the first. And by the way, there was no political gain for it because there was yeah. no coverage. Yeah. Donald Trump has been pretty damn fair. If you want to talk about Donald Trump and his shortcomings as president's vaping ban, we get it. Right. That's um, it kind of certainly isn't games. that he's been racist or certain and you would right? say immigration law is racist toward brown people and obviously Castro would throw a hissy fit uh, and Andrew Yang you know but I understand it right World War right. II internment camps railroads like he has a legitimate grievance at some somewhere yeah, down the line at that point yeah but the idea that Donald Trump has been unfair to black people he certainly no. has done more for criminal justice reform and allowing exactly. black people to get a fair shake than Kamala yeah. Harris did when she had power right but if you want to take a selective clip and try to take it out of context and make him look bad you can but sure. look at his policies look at what he's yeah, done look right. at the Unemployment rate. For unemployment look rate. at the the average income. Look at the people that aren't going to jail anymore and that are getting yeah. out that shouldn't have been in there in the first place. You know who looks Joe bad. Biden, you, you, know who looks bad? you know who looks bad in context? Who? 
Cory Booker. Let's go Corey to the Booker. Tape. Yes. So the tape. He always looks angry to me. Is that does he they steal his Cory? Yeah. Yes. Now show that there are seventeen thousand people unjustly incarcerated in America, and all of us should come forward and, and say. And Kamala Harris put them there. President of the United States. When I am President of the United States, we will release them and let me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's just going to open the case. We need to fact check this. Yes. Does he consider them unjustly incarcerated if they're from New Jersey? Because for the rest of the country, that's true. That's enough. Good question. That's a good question. Yes. That woman you mentioned. New Jersey guilty. The woman you mentioned was Alice Marie Johnson. Alice okay. Marie Johnson, that's it. Why does it's she have it's three a basic names white like... lady name, but it's a black woman. It's a black yeah. woman. So Why I was she in jail? Of color. Well, Johnson. Well, hold on, time out. Why does she have three names like like every uh, assassin in history? Right? Yeah, why I think was she was, in jail? I think it was a cultural rebound effect to okay. share. <laughs> I don't know that that's... You know, the pendulum that. swings both ways. And they go, Madonna, Cher... I'm going to go with three, three names, names, but three it never names. stuck. Here we go. Here we go. ...sacrosanct ideals of this nation, which is Corey, you couldn't handle... <laughs> 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 this Screw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the camera tried to go like, I can't. No. The camera tried to go, I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, it was like Pete Buttigieg's boyfriend, just like, nah. Camera two. Stay on Corey. I can't do it. I can't even. Camera two. All right. Uh, we're going to have to go to uh, our first break of the evening. Ooh. And then we're going to come back. So let me... Uh, trivia for people who are out there. Trivia right now. First trivia question. We will give you the answer after the break. Boom. The first trivia question is, where did Bernie Sanders spend his honeymoon? Where did Bernie Sanders spend his honeymoon? Tweet your answer to at Tess Crowder with the hashtag Crowder debate stream. And we'll read a couple of the Mug Club signups after this break. We'll be back. Stay tuned, everybody. Pulse nightclub, right? About damn time. Hashtag body pride. Hashtag thick. Gerald B. So beautiful. <laughs> bring, bring. Uh, it's foreign minister, Mr. President, and six of our. Yeah, listen about your lawsuit, Andy Garcia. You can suck it. If you want me to read another one of your letters, use some punctuation. Lock it up. Let's go. <laughs> I would appreciate your advice on if you think it would be wise to continue and pursue a long distance relationship with her or not. Before we get to the uh, long distance, I don't think you should be in a long term relationship with this person. <laughs> so a man goes to a bar with his best friend drinking. Fuck! What? <laughs> what, what just, what just happened? <laughs> Did you spill your drink? What just happened? No. He just burned himself. I'm good. <laughs> they would cut these monologues, and every show would have a mo J. Peterman monologue in it, and it would get axed because the show is too long. But I will give you a monologue. I said, Elaine, don't worry. I, too, am no stranger to love on the clock. Sir, whatever you want, just take it and leave. <laughs> Get you. Sir, I have a firearm, and if you don't leave, I will use it. Oh, 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 I'm coming for you. I will shoot. Here I come. Oh, what the hell? What did you expect? I am going to sue you so hard. But you can still Guilty. face ridiculous civil what? liability with the no, defensive I, use of your firearm. That's sorry, why you need there. firearms legal protection. With our 24-7 emergency hotline Judge, and I, plans I, 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 designed specifically for the firearms owner, firearms legal protection is the best legal protection you can have for self-defense. Crazy Lotter with Crowder Beer! It's Crazy Pete from Crazy Pete's Abortion Lord and Crazy Pete's Apparat and Stem Cell Emporium! And have I got a deal for you! How would you like to own a little piece of Lotter with Crowder history? Well today, you can by going to LotterWithCrowder.com slash Super Secret S*** News Man! That's right! This here is the actual way that the Lotter and Crowder used to infiltrate Antifa, go down and change my mind, and dress up as a tranny and fool whip to Dr. Wendy Davis! <laughs> Hands off my pussy hat, but this baby rides like a pussy cat! It still starts! And look at those dash lights! It's like f***ing Christmas! <laughs> look at all this space! That's right, not only did the Lotter and Crowder crew broadcast with the entire team from this here van, but it has the maximum legally allowable height with an added on semi custom roof. Look at this, crust for lure seats, all this space, arm to arm, and custom red, white, and blue shag carpeting from floor to ceiling. We have all the colors of the rainbow, <laughs> but no f Contact Crazy Pete at lotterwithcredit.com slash super secret news today. Crazy Pete at lotterwithcredit.com slash super secret news.
Street Rape, Killing Babies, Selling Automobiles, and Slashing Prices! We are back. Thank you so much yeah. for being with us. Again, the hashtag is hashtag credit debate stream. That is the promo code for people who are watching. You get $20 off Mug Club if you haven't joined. Dang. And of course, the stream is available $20? behind the paywall yeah. for uh, when the stream inevitably gets removed. We do need to refill up the beer. <laughs> Too Cute Maddie, can you bring up the drinking game really quickly so people know who have not seen the drinking rules before? There you go. Oh, Fascist, so ice, deportation, border, crisis, Woman's all these rights. words. You drink. Whoa. And uh, like the answer to the trivia question before the break was, where did Bernie Sanders spend his honeymoon? Wait, dude, what the hell? The answer, 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 answer. Surf, surf, Garcon. Surf. It was the Soviet oh. Union. Oh, Soviet yeah. Union. So I don't know who got it right. How yeah. the hell is that romantic? Soviet Union. Well, he said it was very romantic. Have you met Bernie? Namely because Have you ever he was, been to uh, Siberia? Well, you know why he thought it was romantic? Because he had a... The sex dungeons are built in, which is why I want to go really, really quickly, actually, back to, uh, is he there, our, our socialism, yeah, yeah, our Marxist yeah, correspondent? Yeah. Gulai Greg, are you doing better? Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's, that's not right. Yeah. That's not yeah. right. Oh, again. No, let's cut, let's... Okay. Ooh, let's cut back yeah. to him a little bit later no. and see if he's doing better. That's not romantic at all. He needs to be a pro. Do his job. We're going to continue back someone's, on with the someone's stream. Gonna really quickly yeah, there, uh, Too Cute Maddie, we have a sign-up for Mug Club. Let's hear it. Sign up for Mug Club oh, is yeah. water right. in a glass. Can't yeah. Mug Club. I'll drink my way to the Trump 2020 landslide. If it's Elizabeth Warren, yes. By the way, the four to six weeks for Mug Club lead time for people who joined while it was the Vox fiasco, a little bit longer than that. Yeah. I apologize. We had so many signups that yeah. you might be three months looking at uh, three months. And um, we do have two Sorry. costume contests. Ooh, two costume Ooh. contests there. Let's see them. Costume contests. Oh, the theme of communism. Go. There we go. We have, I don't know what that is. Is that from uh, that, uh, that Star Wars underwater game? What it's was that? Out. Aftershock? No, Fallout. That's Fallout. Oh, someone's dressed as Corey Black Garrett. Hey, nice. Wow, that is, <laughs> that, is that is just shameful. That is just shameful. But you thank you guys. That. You'll be getting some kind of a prize in the mail. And this is that Andrew guy's Clay. dressed yeah. as Butterbean. <laughs> okay. And Bam Bam Bigelow, I think. There we go. Yeah. Not entirely really sure. But thank you so much for sending <laughs> in your costume. That was Quarter Blackface. Was that Quarter Blackface? Yeah. Quarter Blackface. Oh my God. Are you offended? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think so much. Don't Speaking mind. of someone who's always offended, let's go back to the stream. Hey. Beto O'Rourke is talking. Let's get the surfs out of here. For, get, get, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. It's been enough. Hey, you have that whip. Don't be afraid to, you know, oh, unleash. Yeah, well, they're a little bit far. I got it Are ready for next time. Can I Richard shoot them? <laughs> Can I shoot them just a little bit? Yeah, like if I shoot them in the butt there, a bit. No. No, can I save it? Shoot him. Save to meet with those who are selling AR-15s and AK-47s. Give us a little more juice there, Wade. Audio those weight. Those weapons, and you might be surprised. There was some common ground there. Folks who said I would willingly give that up, cut it to pieces. I don't need this weapon to hunt. And by illegal. folks, he means it's Sean Penn. And no one told you that. So let's do the right thing, but let's bring everyone in America into the conversation. Republicans, Democrats, gun owners, and non only if they alike. agree. Let's though. bring everyone I'll into the conversation, excluding people who own AR-15s and didn't tell. Right. Me that they wanted to chop it up into pieces, right. which really, as it relates to a percentage of AR-15 owners, probably about a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Not give percent. Or if give I, I don't like putting number. numbers on it, but it's like a hundred. And like a, now, did you see what he did at the very outset? AK-47 and AR-15, right. making it seem like those are the I, same. I, I want to hear what Klobuchar has to say. I want to hear what all of them have to say on this. Favors magazine limitations, which, by the way, would have made a huge difference if that was in place in El Paso, no, in that wouldn't. store where all those... By the way, assault weapons, they keep yeah, yeah. extraordinary courage. And certainly in Dayton, Ohio, This is the difference it would have made. Click, click. One man, guns down. Yeah. Boom. Innocent Boom. people. Like, there's no the difference. Okay. I want, can we get a long shot here? This is the amount of time before this cigar hits the ground, you know what I can change a magazine. Whether that magazine is 10 rounds, as you see in California, yep. or the magazine, and this is assuming you obey the law if you're looking right. to commit a mass exactly. shooting because you couldn't easily adulterate a magazine. Nope. Before this cigar hits the ground, you can change a magazine. And the magazine was changed before that cigar hit the ground. Pretty so quick, yeah. the difference is I might have to do that three times as opposed yeah, to one. Right. Yeah. The idea that removing people's Second Amendment rights, their rights to defend themselves, yeah. because someone won't commit a mass shooting because of magazine different... And by the way, these weapons, most of the weapons that are used in these mass shootings, especially even if you look in California, they're not necessarily using high-capacity magazines. No. Most of them are hand handguns. Hand yeah. Yeah. And Some of them way, have more than 10 rounds, but in yeah. California, it's limited to 10 rounds. It's still very easy to change a magazine. Yeah. By the way, I want to give my wife every opportunity. When the adrenaline's flowing, she's scared and she's trying to defend herself. 100 rounds. You, you get whatever you need. Sure. Right? I, I don't want to limit that. Yeah. Because that's the situation that you're going to end up creating. Right. Someone like Cory Booker comes, you know, sorry. waddling down an alley at night. <laughs> yeah. 
I want 12 rounds. I at least want that. By the way, not advocating shooting Turtle Booker. I want to make no. sure everybody yes. understands no. this for a second. It's just a joke. We're All right. Though he is Good a thing you explained that in time. because <laughs> <laughs> You were getting excited. I know. I saw you. I looked. So Again, I like checks. his passion. So background checks, which we have, by licensing. the way. Yes, These we do. are agreed we do. to by over... Overwhelmingly, the majority of Americans, 83% of Americans, agree with the licensing. Right, that was a good pause. This is the issue. What does this even mean? Look, Nothing. 80% of Americans agree ago, with licensing. Well, you have to buy, if you want to legally purchase a firearm right now, you have to legally purchase it from a licensed firearm dealer. Yeah. Yes. Background checks. 99% of Americans agree with back. We have background checks. Yes, yeah, so what are you asking for? I, I want to hear what he's saying here. That's why I was the first person to come out for gun licensing. Hmm? And I'm happy that uh, people like Beto O'Rourke are showing such courage now and coming forward. Yeah, what about the lady who died in your state because there was a 30 day waiting period and her evil ex husband killed I'm her, even though she had a restraining order against him? She needed a gun to defend herself, and your police response time wasn't better than, say, four seconds. You can shoot a guy who's trying to rape you or kill you in four seconds. The best police response time that I know of in the country was El Segundo, and it was just barely two minutes. So, what about that, Cory Booker? Your waiting periods killed people. Do you have blood on your hands? Do you have blood on your hands? I, I didn't go we through a background check for the record. They just handed this to me. <laughs> what was Dairy Queen? <laughs> drive through or? It was the drive through oh, wow. okay. And also, like, the thing with the, the polls, when they when they, they poll people, how seared deeply did that person think about it? Like, do you think there should be an also weapon ban? Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah, right. On this issue, because I have seen what the carnage creates in communities like He's going to drop a tear. Watch. National shootings these these he's trying to cry trying to make us trying to build it up you've seen yeah. more carnage than the rest of us because you're from new jersey from neighborhoods like mine. <laughs> you only ever see his bottom <laughs> teeth to the White House. right the time out from the neighborhoods like mine where criminals i will fight this are shooting people fight. they tend not to obey laws. i don't like him he seems phony no you know, he's trying to cry he's trying to think it was area darth from Clarks too to get the tears going because americans watching tonight know the reality he bit his lip trying to get pain to cause the tear i asked you have a republican colleague in the senate who would be on board with this idea to get this done you know, if, if that was the attitude when Strom Thurmond oh, I really want to hear this. filibuster ever on civil rights, if it was this idea that we can't get it done because of the situation in the Senate, I'm looking to lead a movement. The number one hmm. reason why governments are formed hmm. is to protect the citizenry. Think about this. Yes, that's also the number one reason that citizens are allowed to bear arms. <laughs> uh, technically, it's to protect the rights of the citizenry, right. the not to protect them now. and keep this them in a cage. This is not a side issue to me. It is a central yeah. issue to me. That is the kind of fight because the majority of homicide victims. This is a central is issue. Every single day on the side is Rosario like Dawson. We must awaken <laughs> more courageous empathy she should in never this be country on side. so that we stand never. together and fight together and overwhelm those Republicans. Wait, why aren't you guys forming a militia? I don't understand. Well, you guys always that's talk true. about it, that's what it's for. Instead, I just see uh, these, it's either a random shooting or, uh, you know, yes. technical. Well, no, because they actually think that Americans would gladly just hand them their guns if they change the laws. Well, no, they, they think that if they get guns out of everybody's hands, the crime will suddenly well, stop. I do want to hear Elizabeth Warren since she's now leading yes. the polls. So the totem pole. Let's start by phrasing <laughs> violence problem in this country. <laughs> the mass shootings are terrible, but they got all the headlines. Children die every day on streets, I'm in sorry. neighborhoods, on playgrounds. People attention. die from violence, from suicide and domestic abuse. We have a gun violence problem in this country, and we agree on many steps we could take of course, to fix it. Of course you want to get My rid of guns. That's that's what took over the land from bows and arrows. Yeah. And then we and came back and created a compound bow, and you guys were like, shit. She's still pissed off. They beat us with guns back. and then made our bows better. <laughs> Significantly. But okay. here's the deal. The question we need to ask is when we've got this much support across the country, 90% of Americans want to you really see don't. us do, I like registration. Uh, one okay. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Let's be really clear about this. Everybody else shut up because I have to go down on this really quickly. I've got to go down this trail. Mm. Just recently, I was listening to somebody saying, and it was the Young Turks, I believe. The Young Turks and uh, who else was it? I'm just trying to think of who it was. It was someone, uh, oh, oh, the recent Ted Cruz with Alyssa Milano. Yeah. With Alyssa Milano and her little, I don't know, oh. her, 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 her white knighting guy with him kept bringing yeah. up that he had a daughter who died in Florida. They said, okay, listen, listen, Mr. Cruz, you keep trying to straw man, that's a red herring. Nobody wants a gun registry. Nobody wants a buyback. Oops. And he tried, hold on a second. There are three people on this stage right now who want a mandatory gun buyback. Here's something that's important for people to note. You know who's not amongst them? Is Elizabeth Warren. But 
What does she support? The very first step in how you carry out a buyback, which is a registry. The only way you can do a mandatory buyback, which is what they're referring to, which is an all out gun ban when they're talking about Australia, is by knowing who has guns. And you start that with a registry. So we have Cory Booker, we have Beto O'Rourke. I can't remember who the third guy is up on that stage who supports an outright Australian gun ban. And now we have the number one front runner of the DNC supporting a gun registry whose sole purpose is to determine who is allowed and not allowed to own firearms. By the way, none of you should be allowed to own firearms according to Heller versus DC. There is no private right. citizenship right to own a firearm. This is important for people to know. It's not some extreme fringe leftist. I hate when you have these people go, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Oh, people, no, 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 listen. They go, why don't Republicans budge? Because it, we don't want to budge in a registry because the rest of the people on the stage support using a registry to, mandate, to, to ban firearms. So we say that's a bridge too far is the registry. So what do they do? They say, what about these universal background? Hold on a second, we already have background checks. What are you talking about with your background checks? Read the fine print, it's a registry. Then yep. read the fine print on their website and they believe in using that registry to remove your right to own a firearm because you've taken a Xanax or because at some point in your life you've taken an antidepressant. And then the next guy who takes office believes that you shouldn't have firearms at all, period. So they say, no, this is, go watch that. We're gonna do a whole segment on this, the Ted Cruz, Alyssa Milano interview. They were saying, yeah. no, we all support the Second Amendment. Yeah. No one believes that people should be stripped of firearms. Well, Beto only believes in AR-15s. But half of these people believe in a, in a firearm registry. Half of them believe in firearms not being able to have 10 rounds or more. I think some of them believe in less than eight rounds, by yes. the way, which might exclude some revolvers. You have an infringement on your rights. This is how it starts. The Second Amendment isn't absolute. The Supreme Court, Heller versus DC, determined that the Second Amendment is absolute. The arguments against it were that no private citizen has the right to own arms whatsoever. So that's the first step. The next step is a gun registry. So you know who, where, and how many guns people have. And the next step is an outright mandatory gun ban. Some people say, well, I don't wanna live in the what ifs, the fear mongering. Hold on a second. It's not fear mongering. If any of the top candidates on this stage, if they actually had the balls, they probably don't, yeah. just like everyone who says, I'm gonna end the wars, they have the first Homeland Security briefing and say, get my brown pants. Yeah. But right now, according <laughs> to every single main person on the stage, if they had their way, you would no longer have firearms. So yeah. don't say it's fringe. They just told you what it is that they want to do. It doesn't matter if they claim that most Americans support their policies. They don't. Most Americans support some kind of a background check. We already have them. Most Americans think there shouldn't be some kind of an online loophole. You shouldn't be able to own a fight. You shouldn't be able to purchase a firearm online without a background check. You're not allowed to do that. So it's very, very important to note when people say it's a fringe movement, you say, okay, what's fringe? Is it Joe Biden? Is it Elizabeth Warren? Is it Bernie Sanders, Cory Booker, Beto O'Rourke, Amy Klobuchar? Which one of them is extreme? Because the problems that I have are with all of their policies. And I think it's important that people note that. Oh, no one wants to take your guns. They just said it. They just said it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel about guns? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the, the, the funny thing with the Beto one is that the report, he was interviewed by a reporter who tried giving him an out. It's like, well, what do you say to all these, these rubes who think they're going to say like, oh, well, you're trying to take their guns, but you're not trying to take their guns, are you? And Beto's uh, answer was, let me be clear. We're going to take their guns. <laughs> and by the way, crystal clear. the reason they're so yes. out of touch is because their education level as it relates to firearms is that of this asshole who said, I tell my wife to take a double-barreled shotgun yep. and fire it into the air indiscriminately. He believes that safer than an AR-15 in the hands of a trained woman right. like my wife or too cute Maddie, by the way, who works here, half the people who work here, that someone with an AR-15 trained on a bad guy, he believes that that is less safe than his wife, who likely at this point has some neurodegenerative decline, let's be honest, if she's even the better half of Joe Biden, <laughs> going out with a double-barreled shotgun like Elmer Fudd going, I am hunting pesky Republicans. This is what yeah. this guy thinks is appropriate. Right. These are the people who believe, it. they don't know the difference between a bump stock, a semi-automatic, or a machine gun. Either they don't know or they deliberately obfuscate. They deliberately want you not to know. Yeah. And that's why the gun issue is so important because it is the most dishonest issue. Yes. Yeah. It's easy to appeal people by saying, I'm gonna give you free stuff. You're not necessarily lying, you're just not telling them how you're gonna pay for it. But when you tell people, I don't wanna take away your guns, I just want a registry and a mandatory buyback, you're lying to them. Yeah. You're lying to them. All right, let's see what uh, 
half Latino George Takei has to say. <laughs> Thank you very much for that Sorry, question. Sorry, I had to get that and, out. Uh, it was good. Look, hey, do you feel better? Barack Obama was very different from Donald Trump. Donald Trump has Thank a Jesus. when it comes to him. Thank he Jesus above that Donald Trump is different from Barack Obama. Yes. Otherwise, yeah. we might still be tossing born babies in linen baskets. And that's very different for Barack Obama. <laughs> Um, but my problem with Vice President Biden is... Born Alive Act, and look what happened in Illinois. He was the only... Time, but right? When Barack Obama found the testicular fortitude to not simply vote present, he voted no on a bill that would protect unborn babies who survived abortions, who were now born being thrown effectively into waste paper baskets. For some reason, that was the hill he wanted to die on. Oh, by the way, that and making sure that he got to the top of the queue so his kids could be baptized by Reverend Jeremiah Goddamn America Wright. That's who we're... That's who we're... That's I, I'm actually pretty glad that... that Donald Trump is different from Barack Obama. Yes. You know, it's not perfect, but I'll take the grab him by the pussy if it means no more babies being thrown in the uh, waste yeah. paper baskets. By the way, everyone on this stage voted against the uh, Born Alive Act. Every single one wow. voted against protecting wow. babies who have already survived abortions. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Give up DACA. We're not going to give up protections for anybody. I believe that on January 20th, 2021, we're going to have a Democratic president. We're going to throw out... Mm, I got it. He looked like the executive assistant of a bond villain. And a Democratic <laughs> House. And we're going to pass immigration reform within the first 100 days. Vice President, 45 seconds. It's been bothering me for the past hour. Yeah. Immigration reform. What does that mean? Hopefully I really don't hurts. know. I not really sure. But people cheer when I say Barack it. Yeah. Things should be different. Barack. Good. Bad and indifferent. That's where I stand. They keep bringing up two really? people that are not at the debate. Trump. Well, he does because he wants to. He wants to delineate. He wants to really be the Barack Obama guy, whereas yeah. everyone else, everyone else on this stage is attacking Barack Obama's policy, saying they weren't yeah. progressive enough. Right. And Joe Biden wants to really stay in that pocket. Yeah. But, I mean, that, but that was also the funny thing about the debate that we didn't live stream because we decided vacation was more important. Uh, because look at these <laughs> debates. Uh, they attacked Barack Obama more than they direct Donald Trump at a Democrat debate. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Let's hear what uh, Warren has to say. She's number one right now. Well, I start with a statement of principles, and that is in this country, immigration does not make us weaker, immigration makes us stronger. When it's legal. Hold on a sec. I'm going to get me um, legal a beer. Immigration and create good, a good idea, Elizabeth Warren. Oh, by the way, they said oh, yeah, immigration more. makes us stronger. Can we get the shrimps in here? And for their cousins, for people who's overstayed student visas, and for people who came here to work Wait, in the field. You overstayed your visa. Get a new I visa. I have a system this is that easy. is half to, to citizenship that is fair. Do you think her stand-in before the debates when they check the lighting the border, is Nathan Phillips? We've got to this entire <laughs> Sir, stop, stop with it's the gotta be somebody. I can't. What are you doing here, sir? I am simply here as a stand-in. Hi, oh, yeah, 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 bull. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shitting bull. Twelve-year-old girl is not a system that is keeping us safer, and it is not serving really? our values. Oh. What about a twelve-year-old girl? What did she say? We need. I want to. If we don't allow twelve-year-old girls. By the way, tweet us at Crowder Debate Stream. Use that promo code twenty dollars off Mug Club. And if we get booted tonight, go watch it over at Blaze TV. Right. I think she's yeah. protecting protecting the girl from Biden. Oh yeah, yeah, makes sense. Especially if she's a redhead. If we don't let a twelve-year-old girl say hi to Joe Biden. It's not a country I want to live in. Exactly. Yeah. That's what she said. I don't care how good her hair smells. People don't feel like they have to flee for their lives. We have a crisis that Donald Trump has created. What? And hopes to profit from. No, 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 no. no. That process was in place. Hold on, Hold on a second. Let's Already. be clear. The crisis that Donald Trump has created is our country is so desirable that people are breaking the law to get in. Yes. What a horrible crisis. Yes. It's like Donald Trump has created the problem of kicking so much ass that yeah. everybody else from the, I hate to say this, shithole countries, uh, Mr. Stephanopoulos, by the way, well, we're going to go out drinking afterwards, right? We were both Clinton staffers. The people from the shithole countries want to come in here because our country is... This is a crisis that Donald Trump has created with the lowest ever unemployment, the highest ever wage growth, the yeah. highest ever uh, wage growth and lowest unemployment specifically for Latino workers. So listen, it's no surprise that the Browns want to come in here, okay? All right, Mr. Oh, it's Yang. Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear what Yang has to get this... The serfs are just disgusting. Yeah, they are. Get, get, go. We need go. better serfs. Get out of here, you proletariats. <laughs> By the way, one of those serfs, did anyone else notice that serf was way too buff? Yeah. <laughs> He's sneaking extra rations. Too much free time. I want him yeah. to be eating nothing but, but gruel and Tonka truck wheels. <laughs> Tonka truck wheels. He's Fiber. eating toys, yeah. I think we have to compete for talent, and I am the opposite of Donald Trump in many ways. He says build a wall. I'm going to say to immigrants, build come to America. 
because if you come here, your son or daughter can run for president. The water is great. Unless legally. No, 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 legally. They legally can't. Can. Unless they're Mongolians, then a wall is an order. Wait a second. I thought you can't run for president if you're not born here. You can't. Here. So he just lied to no, all the other son wrong. or daughter, if they're born here, he wasn't. Wasn't lying. Come here. You, can, what he said. you condemning our president for wanting a wall? You started it. Yeah. <laughs> His Ages button, ago. Yeah, yeah you made it. You made it fast. And it worked. <laughs> I don't know if I can take the guy seriously who didn't realize that Mulan was a woman. <laughs> He didn't. <laughs> Let's get down. Uh, that's, but, I, would, I swear to you, I would vote for Andrew Yang if the very next question they asked him, he just answered, Let's get down to business <laughs> to defeat the Huns. Oh my gosh. I could sing the rest of that song. <laughs> Sadly. Did they send me butt gig? They're clapping as well they Hold on, hold on. Is he speaking Spanish? No. I don't know. No, you cut the song off. We have Sorry. an opportunity. I thought you spoke Spanish for a second. Yeah, there you go. That was just me. I'm drunk, though. In my community, so. the saddest man I ever met. But you can bet before we're through. What the hell do you know this for? When he went into ICE to try oh, to get his... There we go. Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Some of the most conservative Garrett, continue. Areas of Iowa, he doesn't know. I have seen what's the rest of this? I, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right <laughs> now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I mean, I think it just split, it goes back. The schnickered surf. Oh, I guess it's blazetv.com slash Crowder. I got that Oops. wrong. Slash so go Crowder. watch there when we get yeah. slash Crowder, when we get slash. removed. When we get slashed. Yeah, slash yeah, when we get slashed. See what I did there? Just remember Slash Crowder. I love this guy's like South Bend. Did you read it? He just said South Bend is growing. South Bend. They just had to. If South Bend grows, they have to change the welcome to South Bend sign like a McDonald's. Yes, exactly. By the way, eight served? As a Notre Dame guy, the only thing in South Bend anymore is Notre Dame right next to it. That's it. Otherwise, it's a hellhole. Sorry, Pete. The same arguments and the same clever lines. But we do have some fans there. So that's good. Happened in the 1980s. Oh, is he still? Talking. <laughs> yeah. Back when we had the Studebaker plants in South Bend, it was a good time. He talks like he's 70. Yeah. Go Irish. By the Back way, one thing you'll need to notice about butt gig, if people want to criticize Donald Trump for not being substantive, and by the way, when Donald Trump campaigned, I would certainly relent. He was not substantive at all. It's but if you look at his presidency, I've been pleasantly surprised. Not yeah. everything, yeah. but he certainly has gotten a lot done. He went yeah. to work really quickly. Well, but for people who criticize him for that, I don't think I've ever seen a more empty suit than Pete Buttigieg. Well, you're it's right, like right yeah. now. It's like his suit is stuffed with the dust cloud of where he used to be, and he's off in the men's room with George Michael in a porta potty. <laughs> R.I.P. I think it's George how Michael. We rewrite this country's immigration laws <laughs> in our own image. Michael? In the image Singular? of okay, Houston, right. Texas, also the dead. most diverse city. It's like a ghost situation. In the United States. A horrible city. We Houston, want to rewrite Texas immigration sucks. laws in our own I'm image. Sorry. Do you mean Houston in the image the of most America? Diverse city? No, it's uh, not. Has he ever been in New York? Everybody drink. Yeah, drink. Has he ever been uh, in New York? <laughs> what is he talking about? Most Shut up, Montreal. City. Yeah, another. We're very diverse. Um, all I know is for every word, I get a little bit less in debt for my campaign. If I can just stay in long enough to get out of debt, that'd be great. <laughs> Oh, speaking oh, Spanish. Drink. Oh, ah. speaking Spanish. No, I'm already like three years in. Oh, wow, they fill up all my mugs. Make sure that there is accountability and justice. <laughs> you have an embarrassment of mugs over there. Under our justice, drink. Our custody. No. See, si, si, senor. You know, one more drink. Can he watch the show the and see and he's doing this on purpose? He's trying to get his hammer? He knows. People trying to cross to join like family. Beto, say justice. Yeah, in the view. I said it. Because this goes to 10. Just in the Obama. 10 Central, 11 Eastern. Glad I had the massage. No threat to this country breaking up their families. Democrats what? have to get off the back foot. We have to lead on this issue because we know it is right. What? Legalize Do America. What? Begin with those more than one million dreamers. Make them U.S. citizens right make now. Make them oh. voters. Oh, hold on. Time That's out. what he yes, meant yes, to say. Yeah, make exactly. them voters. And People that broke the law. He misspoke. He meant voters. Not have to paint. Yeah. Didn't we do this in the 80s? Voters. voters. We did this in the 80s. Amnesty word was voters for yeah. 200, Alex. What cracks me up, when, de when Democrats are pointing to the 80s, was, well, Ronald Reagan supported illegal immigration. Right, and he got rolled on it, and that's, yes. that's literally the specific that's reason why, why people don't buy for it now. Yeah, that's why we're pissed. All right, we've gone to a commercial break here, then we're going to go to our own commercial break Ooh, relatively better soon. Better commercial break. Uh, but, yeah, you know what? We should. Go, but what do you guys see thus far? What have you been seeing as a kind of Why do they keep bringing up these dreamers, right, as if because they have dreams to stay, but some dreams are shit. 
Like it's, <laughs> you know, we don't know what their really, dreams really are. Bad what dreams. if they dream to murder? Yeah. Well, Hold on, time out. Like you I, know, I, dreaming of retiring at fifty-three, like yeah. in Greece. Those I are just, beautiful wanna, dreams, sir. That's not a good dream. Greece is, is no, a great place. It's a great no, place. Just bad beautiful economy. place. Bad economy. Bad economy. Bad economy. Beautiful place. Listen, it worked. And also. Property tax. Once you buy the property, they shouldn't be taxing you. I'm all for that stuff. Yeah. 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 And you guys, too, I assume, it, it, it are all crashed. for it, but you're not going to get it. You know why? Because no. these guys, they're they, not for that they gotta stuff. they got to have money to spend. They <laughs> suck. Right? Yeah. suck. So I, what I hate is we're seeing confl- conflating things, right? The AR-15 is just like the AK-47. They're, they're putting that out there as a headline. Yeah. And the next thing is, we want immigration. So do I. Legal I think immigration. Yes, that's a really, Legal and by the way, uh, we, I need to make sure we know we have a post-game wrap-up exclusively yes. at uh, blazetv.com. Uh, is it blazetv.com? Yeah. Yeah. I just rolled this up. BlazeTV.com slash Crowder. Slash Crowder. We're going to be doing 25 minutes slash. of exclusive content there. Uh, I do. That's a really good point that you brought up, Gerald. The yeah. um, conflating. And I, the reason they're doing that is because they have to, because yeah. everything is so good right now. They can't really know, talk about the right? economy. Right. No one wants to bring up the, when they say we're the party of science, we're the party of data. Well, yeah. do you want to bring up unemployment? Mm-hmm. Do you want to bring up economics? Bridge. Do you want to bring up the Laffer curve? Do mm-hmm. you want to bring up energy? Do you want to talk about how many emissions come from nuclear? Mm-hmm. The answer is zero. Well, they don't want to bring well. up any of that. And so they conflate. What do they have to do? Like, guns are a good issue. Uh, machine guns and AR-15s. AR-15s are not machine guns. Dreamers and what? immigration. It's not the same thing. Legal immigrants are not the same as illegal immigrants. So what they have to do is conflate these issues because right. things are yeah. so good right now in this yeah. country. Yes. And I say this, listen, I get it. Our president is kind of a dick. He is. Okay? Yeah. And I disagree yeah. with him yeah. on a lot. But if you were going to look back at this point in history, it, people will say, well, hold on a second. How did someone run against that guy when the country was... Right. Look at, at the that stats. level of unemployment, at that level of GDP, yeah. at that level of wage growth, I think that's important. That's what we're seeing right now. We're right at the halfway point, conflating issues and terms deliberately because they can't address. It's very different from when they were running against uh, <laughs> they're after George Bush. Yes. Because we had the market crash. It was tough. There was war fatigue. Yeah. And so yeah. they were able to just say the yeah. war in Iraq is a failure. They were able to just say it's not been working because unemployment is at X amount. Right. They can't do that right now. Yeah. They can't, they can't say point to any Donald Trump's war is a failure. Uh, they can't say Donald Trump's economy is uh, uh, machine guns. Right. All right. Yeah. Before we go to the next break, we have another question for you. Oh, Trivia question before we go is what did Bernie say about lining up for bread lines? In communist countries. Delicious. What did Bernie say about lining up for bread lines in communist mm-hmm. countries? The promo code and hashtag and is Crowder Debate Stream. $20 off at lidoscrowder.com slash mug club. Do we have another guest coming up, I think? Yep. We do have a guest. We do Soon. have Anthony yeah. Kumia in a little Soon. bit. I don't think it's... Uh, oh, yeah, we are running late. So we'll have him coming up in a little bit. But uh, we'll be back right after this word from our sponsors. It's better than their sponsors. Hey everyone, Whistleblower22 here. You may know that Joe Biden was recently seen with a blood-filled left eye during a climate town hall. To a normie, this is just more proof that this actual f***ing baby boomer is too old to support a closed circulatory system. While this is true, the more important truth you'll hear is that... Mom, I'm recording! Is that this answers? The reptilian question. This autist on poll pointed out the similarities between Joe Biden and a horned lizard with this disgusting ability to squirt blood from its eye. Uncle Joe must have felt threatened by so many questions and just couldn't suppress his natural instincts. I shouldn't even have to mention the other obvious similarity that old creepy Joe shares with a horny lizard. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, you can pledge to my GoFundMe and help my command center move to a better space to make videos. Currently, I can only work on videos at night while my mom's asleep. Until next time, whistleblower out. Hello, my name is Teresa, and I am a lesbian. Did you know that lesbian couples face many of the same problems that also plague straight couples? This ranges from petty family squabbles all the way to domestic violence. In fact, dark on diet crimes occur at even higher rates than straight couples living in rural areas. According to research, almost 44% of lesbian couples experience domestic violence compared to 35% of straight women, 26 for gays. Not to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but I was actually slapped by my girlfriend on the way here. It's time we put an end to this senseless violence by providing shelter for victims in well-carpeted rooms. Please donate at batterlesbians.org and let's make sure that no more lesbians take beatings from their partners. You too can stop the abuse by giving generously at batteredlesbians.org.
Today, we're making my papa's famous DNA dip. First, you take a jar of store-bought salsa and one 1,024th a tablespoon of cumin. And you're a racist. <laughs> Join me next time for my special Beto burritos. They'll make your taste buds literally run from the cops. What's up, my nick? Watch more and follow our second channel, youtube.com slash crowderbits. Louderwithcrowdershop.com, supporting free speech since 2000 and something. With people being banned from social media left and right, you can now purchase this de-platform this limited edition louderwithcrowdershop.com t-shirt. Signifying your insubordinates to authority and request for them to kiss your ass and lick your butt. Lottowithcrowdershop.com today. Now for Trick Tips with Beto. Remember, when cops pull you over, you can refuse a breathalyzer. Just say to the cop, oh my god, look at that thing. Then run away for the next 20 years. Don't be a Beto. Join Mug Club for $99 a year, $69 a year for students, veterans, or active military. I have so many mugs, it's hard for me to keep track, uh, by the way, of all the uh, embarrassment. All the, uh, all, all, all the beer going on. Hey, Yang speaking up there. Oh, boy. Um, is he? No, he's leading a self-defense class. All right, before <laughs> what you we do get is into the answer off. to <laughs> trivia, and then we have Anthony Kumia coming up in just one second here. Yeah. The answer yeah. to the trivia question before the break, which was, uh, what did Bernie Sanders say about people lining up for bread lines in communist countries? The answer is, that's a good, that's good, that's oh, a good, God. that's good, it's good. So Even by the way, if someone gets all works. of these that's right, if someone gets all trivia questions right, and we'll keep, be keeping rep, record, you will get an entire Lotto with Crowder gift basket. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Really? Oh. Right. Will it have any figs in it? It's just Pete Buttgig being wheeled up a trolley. <laughs> So so much of it. When, he gets, when he gets to the top of uh, the, uh, was it a dumbwaiter? What do they call those things? Yeah, yeah. Where I don't know. Yeah, he gets to the top of the dumbwaiter, he just, he just arrives, you open it up, and he goes, Oh, I'm so bad! <laughs> and you say, Oh, Stop Pete me. Buttgig, you're incorrigible. You again. You are incorrigible, <laughs> Pete Buttgig. All right, our next guest, I think, because I'm looking at the schedule. Yes, yes we are. Oh, I'm really glad Wait, he was a U.S. Navy Follow Missouri? him, the, the very Kumia excited show about this. on Twitter, and of course, uh, you know Pantelis, Mike Ward, they've worked with him for a very long time. Uh, Compound Media, subscribe, use the promo code COMPOUND20 for 20% 20 off. Thanks. The show is the Anthony Kumia show. Senor Kumia, are you there, sir? Uh, uh, buenas noches! <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Uh, he talks Spanish. Drink. Festive. Oh. Steven Crowder, uh, buenas noches. We, oh my god. We have to drink he's... every time you speak in Spanish because. Damn you, senor! Uh, that's see, the see. part of the drinking game. Oh yeah, he's in the <laughs> game too. He's, he's, got, he's, he's ready. <laughs> no, stop it! Stop it! I'm gonna die from alcohol poisoning. No more C's. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you come here. sons of bitches, you bastards, you... I Me? had to watch this <laughs> debate in order to do this tonight. I never would have subjected myself to such utter crap. It's so stupid. I have to watch it this evening. Well, look, did you watch the other debates? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured what do you once call? they whittled them down, I mean, we'd get fault. the smartest of the bunch. <laughs> right. But, uh, this is... Unbelievably annoying to watch. I can't even do it. The pandering, the 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 choppers that Biden has loosely uh, <laughs> slapping around in his mouth. Right. The Spanish talking. Uh, uh, the trying to make it sound like I did a good job in Newark. Like, oh my God, I can't take it. Don't forget South Bend. That's right. You're you're a New Yorker. And of course, Opie and Anthony was uh, out of New York, and one of the biggest shows everyone when they were in New York wanted to listen to it. And then it was yeah. Sirius XM. So he was a, he's a New York, basically a staple. Oh, Long Island um, guy. Yeah. What was what was Cory Booker to you? I mean, obviously, the guy, I would imagine the guy was just a punchline. 
It was. It was a punchline. But mostly, we didn't really know who was in control of Newark at the time. We just knew to give Newark a wide berth. <laughs> it was like an obstacle course. You had to go around, whoa, Camden, whoa, Newark. <laughs> All these we just didn't go to. And right. Newark was one of them. And he was the guy. These people that are running for president that are uh, – de Blasio is a good example, too. I Unfortunately – uh, I'm not seeing him much, right. but uh, yeah. <laughs> he's one of these guys that's like, look what I did to New York. We could do this to the whole country. Right. And everyone's going, no, please <laughs> don't. Right. I don't need to step in human feces in Tennessee. <laughs> no. For everything to smell like piss in Georgia. <laughs> more like piss it in is, Georgia. It's, it's a good more point. Like <laughs> yes, more. We were just talking about this uh, not long ago when we were talking about the gun issue, which I know is, is probably the most aggravating because they are outright lying about it. You know, they're hoping that people don't know the difference between AR-15 and machine gun. They're hoping that most people don't know there are already background checks, for example. But remember, they always blame this. They did this with uh, Chicago where they would say, well, the reason Chicago has such bad gun violence is because people get their guns from nearby states. Like, well, what's the gun crime in Indiana? What's the gun crime in Michigan? Right. It's not even disregarding Detroit, and we can go Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's our fault. Okay, Michigander here. That yep. being said, it's not th there isn't gun crime in Gary, Indiana, to the level of Chicago. The same thing could be said of New Jersey. Is everyone going? What are they going to New Hampshire? Are they going to Vermont? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the area around New York, New York and Jersey, the gun laws are unbelievably restrictive, uh, and there are other states in New England that are much easier to get guns. But people aren't just carting them down and and selling them. That's another thing. They say that people buy guns legally and they sell them to gang members and everything. No gun that's ever confiscated from gang members has been sold to them. They're all stolen. They're all <laughs> stolen guns. Yeah. Cause it crime. never happens. And how is this guy that's buying guns legally buying so many of them? And then right. illegally taking them over the line. There's crimes being committed, even if that was happening. He's very right, charismatic. Which is not. <laughs> they want. Yeah, they, they don't understand. <laughs> They, they want us to believe that that some guy is going to when they used to sell guns. Some guy is going to Walmart, purchasing a gun legally, where he knows there is a receipt of sale. Yeah. Turning around and handing it to a guy with a teardrop tattoo for a hefty profit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's making more money off of it. And by the way, it never gets traced back to him. Right. It never gets you know the serial <laughs> number on there. Yeah. And he's getting the the guy that's buying the stolen gun to pay more than he paid retail for it. Right. This isn't happening. What? Well, right. Busting open windows, breaking into houses, breaking into gun stores, and, and stealing guns. And this is something, too, people talk about the gun show loophole. It's not a real thing. Uh, Washington, uh, was it, uh, which one's the Pinocchios? Is it PolitiFact? PolitiFact or Snope? Well, what Snope? Post. Like, they gave it Pino four Pinocchios, because it's not true. Now, I can tell you, I've taken part in the gun show loophole. In that, I lent my firearm to my father at one point to go to the range, and so that's using the gun show loophole. I'm like, okay, this is an old classic Smith & Wesson 6, 8, uh, 581 revolver if you take it to the range. And we even wrote up a little bill in case he somehow screwed up or shot himself in the foot. That's the gun show loophole. So I've technically exploited it. Oh. And in New York uh, State, and forget about New York City, it's nearly impossible to get any type of gun in New York City. But in New York State, when you buy a gun, I have never bought a gun without going through uh, the rigorous background checks that uh, that they have in, in this country. And and to say that that's the reason that there are these mass shootings is insane. Just like saying it's gun violence and it's that I hear I'm watching the debate and they're talking about gun violence constantly. It's like, could you please address the issue that isn't about the machine that's being used and right. more about the culture and the people yeah, right. because the, until that gets addressed they're just going to keep wanting to take more well, guns the only issue if that's disconcerting to me right now is that cat i'm seeing walking behind no, you no, if no, i didn't know better no, i would no, mistake no, you for a no, uh, for a pete butt gig no, 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 <laughs> cats are wonderful yeah i i got a bengal uh bengal cat they're like little leopards they're there cool you though you can play with them now he's here now he's gone he's gone all right, well, it's listen, a dog you embarrassed leave him. at home for a four day weekend. We, 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 can't, we can't talk that long. And it's just all of a sudden, he's just, he just has a body that looks like more cats. That's <laughs> true. It's true. Coming out Let of me ask you this. Though. Who do you think, we have to get going, who do you want to be the Democratic candidate to run against Trump? Who do you think is the most easily beatable? Joe Biden, without a, without a doubt. This is the guy, yeah. and this okay. is their guy. I, I think Joe Biden has serious mental issues. I think he's really losing it. 
he can't really put together a coherent sentence. He's constantly going on his past. Anything they ask him, what yeah. do you think about a trip to Mars? Uh, uh, by I did that already. I was, <laughs> years ago. I was the first guy on Mars. Like anything you ask him, he's done it. He's there. He's been there. Yeah. And he's got the most. Uh, he's got the career that you could most criticize because he's contradicted himself by being a chameleon over the course of the years. So by the way, much. he's also no. You're confusing. He's not a chameleon. He's a he's a horned lizard who squirts yes. blood out of his eye. <laughs> oh, it's an easy yeah. mistake. To <laughs> reptile yeah. shapeshifter. Yeah. It's difficult. Why is no one talking about that? <laughs> if Trump messes up one word, they're like, ah, Alzheimer's. Right. This guy's bleeding from the eye. <laughs> <laughs> like, they could replace I'm Joe fine. Biden. They could replace Joe Biden with Muhammad Ali circa 2012, and no one would know the difference. They'd be like, well, that's just, that's just Joe. Incorrect? That's just Joe being Joe. Cut right. me, Nick. down every so often. It actually happened. <laughs> Joe being Joe. Yes, it happened earlier when they cut to the crowd, and it was actually, it was just Greg Luganis. Apparently, he's a, <laughs> apparently he's a big butt gig fan. Well. Um, oh. I, I, dis I disagree with you. I think Elizabeth Warren is the easiest one wow. to beat. I think she's the easiest one to beat because uh, Donald Trump has been so disrespectful to her. He's been so hard on her. And we know this about Donald Trump. He doesn't walk it back. The closest we ever saw was Carly Fiorina because she's kind of funny and she could give it back a little bit. And he was like, what I was saying, look at her face. He went, it's a great face. It's a good face. Come on. <laughs> Such a good face. That's the closest we've seen to an apology. He's not going to back up on Pocahontas. You know how he was sort of lurking behind Hillary and that, that gif? Yes. He's going to do that times 10 with Elizabeth Warren. I yeah. think, I really think she's the most easily beatable. And then Biden, probably number two. But Stephen, everyone loves their Nana. And she's just, she's Aww. everyone, she's America's Nana. No, uh, no, no, she's not. She's the Nana you avoid at the Thanksgiving table yeah. where she, she's like, so. That, that voice, that voice. And I think we should. Can you imagine that trying to negotiate with world leaders? It's embarrassing. Yeah. Plus, you it doesn't her, look like she could take a you punch. Ma you make her sound like a Harvey Firestein. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. We got to get rid of college debt. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, I think she's easy to beat. I think she's got, you know, there's the Nana who you want, and she says, How is life going? You know, when you have a family gathering. And then there's the Nana who says, Why don't you have children yet? Your eggs are going to dry up. And that's Warren. <laughs> yes. Huh. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good just point. my opinion. It's, a, it's reasonable. It's a good point. It's good just point. my opinion. Well, look at All the right, eyes. Mr. Kumia, Senor Kumia, uh, we do have to get going. Where's the best place for people to find you and support you, good sir? Compoundmedia.com. You just yep. go there, uh, put in Compound Twenty in the. Uh, a uh, little sign up thing there and you'll get 20% off. Boom. It's uh, a bunch of shows right. dr mm. during the week that um, again like you we don't give a crap. We'll sing anything. <laughs> right, pretty much. And just do me a favor with that Bengal cat, avoid giving it red wine and Xanax because we saw how that ended with chimpanzees. So. That's true. That's yeah. very true. No, I, I take the red wine and Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fine. We have no problem Whoa. with it. Just oh, don't do it to a non-domesticated animal. All right, Anthony Kumia, Compound Media. Always lovely to have you, sir. Uh, we must go back to... You know. Hey, look, it's Turtle Man. <laughs> Here we go. All right, hold on. Trade turtle, to turtle. Ch battling China turtle, turtle. to uh, <laughs> the climate Am I not turtly enough for the newer turtle club? The <laughs> he is pulling us away from our allies. Out of is he still Iran, talking about Trump? You know what? Hold on a second. I hate Booker so much. It's time to go. Can we go to our guest here really quickly? Oh, we have him? So for people who don't, yeah, I do think, do we have him there, Quarter Black here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for those who don't know, we actually do have here on the show tonight, since it's the, the DNC, we're talking with a bunch of socialists, or we're, we're reviewing the... Uh, the parade of socialists. Yeah. Uh, if he's here, um, uh, Adolf Hitler. Yep. Oh, is he there. Happy to be with you, Stephen. Please call me Adolf. Okay, uh, Adolf. What's your take on the uh, the Democratic debates so far? Well, Stephen, may, may I call you Crota? Is that German? Not at all. No. It's, I have to be honest. I'm I'm liking a lot of what I'm hearing so far from these candidates. Really? Uh, what what specifically? Would well, you... listen. Uh, I'm biased, obviously. Uh, I mean. It, it, it's a bad word now, but I'm a socialist. It, guilty. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert, it's in the name. Ah. Uh, just look at everyone's position on gun control. I hate to be mein Führer hipster, but I was pushing for that before it was cool. You know, that's, that's true. Um, I think it may surprise a lot of people, because even though Nazi means National Socialist Workers' Party, yeah. a lot of people said you were racist, so that makes you more right-wing. They would try to... <laughs> what about me as right-wing? My position on gun control? Or, or taxes, or freedom of speech, or property rights. I mean, my platform reads like a DNC manifesto. 
especially with regard to abortion, or as I like to call it, the other final solution. Yeah, that's not. Uh, everyone on that stage knows the harm in having multiple it. children today, the expense, the strain on women's health, and most importantly, the carbon emissions. You need more abortions, not less. I think you, you mean fewer. Uh, I feel like I need a shower, though, at this <laughs> yeah, point. A little bit. Um, yeah. Oh, no, with the uh, you're not going to get me to go there, Stephen. Okay, I see. What's, what, who, who, who books uh, this guy? Why, know, why is he even on the show? I, don't, I also no. admire the democratic scapegoating. You blame all your hardships on the 1%. Again, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I invented the 1% scapegoat playbook. Mm. Only in my case... Yeah, I'm not okay. sure if... I don't think... What, what's oh, going on? What, what, what's what, happening? What's going on? What's happening? Mr. Adolf? Feeding time, Stephen. Oh, come on. 2019, what a time to be the Fuhrer. Mm. Yeah, you know, let's oh, cut the, yeah, cut the cut feed, Quarter Black. Cut the feed. No. Yeah, I don't even. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. That was rough. Mm -hmm. I almost feel as though from Anthony Kumia, that was a step down. <laughs> that was. That was definitely a step down. <laughs> yeah. By the way, for people who don't know, we uh, we uh, switched their uh, pen tell us because we feel like he, we couldn't see him that well with Brodigan. Yeah. We'll rotate everybody. Uh, Elizabeth Warren looks mad about something. Just if we had a body language expert, mm. I will say this: the one thing that I think you would have to give to Trump. Is that throughout all, and I would say this even above above Ted Cruz, above Carly Fiorina, above uh, Marco Rubio, Donald Trump had fun with it. He did. Everyone yeah. here seems yeah. so miserable, so unhappy, yeah. and I think that comes off. I don't know if it's just me. When you're talking about the intangibles, a lot angry. of people don't like to, to, to act as though these things matter. They do. Yeah. yeah. They do. Yeah. What I'm saying is that, listen, paint with colors of the wind. Smile more. <laughs> they look the way everyone watching them feels. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Very it's, miserable. No, it's, like it's, a it's like what everyone said about Ronald Reagan. He was a happy warrior. So he, it, it stands yeah. out when because when you're happy and you think like you know America is the best place to live, people pick up on that. Yeah. When your entire campaign is how much we suck and we're terrible and yeah. we're like just like the Nickelback of countries. People well, pick up on that, too. That's, very, that's a reasonable... It's where the that's creative really harsh. countries... Yes. That's really hard. <laughs> oh, that that's bad. right. Ca Canada is a nickelback of countries. No. Yeah. Can you oh, take oh, 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 my firearms? Now we're going to have to go to war. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Can you war. ban AR-15? You <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> sacrifice. What happened to Creed? Do they still exist? They suck. I, I think they so. probably do. <laughs> they suck. They went away. That's not an action. Yes. They went away because they suck. All right. Let's bring this back up for people. People who are open watching, and uh, by the way, we have to be careful. The reason we're talking over it, put up the debate stream on your own screen yeah. because they might ban us if we actually show it full screen. Yeah, so true. if Don't it seems it. distracting, it's by design because we've been banned so many times for streams. Yes. Hey, look, it's Pocahontas. But we cannot Fo ask them to solve problems hey, how that they alone hey, how cannot how solve. We need to work with the rest of the world. We need to use our economic tools. What are the youths thinking? We need to use our diplomatic <laughs> you tools. Are we an need to tool. build with our allies. And we need to make the whole world safer, not keep troops bombing in Afghanistan. What? Senator Warren, thank you. Is that nation on, building? Second, not keep on. tweets bombing. Turn to Mayor Buttigieg because you're the only veteran on the stage who served in Afghanistan. That's a we sad state of affairs. <laughs> was, he, was he serving? Was he Senate serving up, dude? It's like you were, you're the only veteran. <laughs> you're the only veteran on the stage, <laughs> Mayor Buttigieg, so, yeah. and that's because people didn't ask, but you did tell. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> promised to bring troops home in the first year Early on hold to follow the advice. You know, I served under General Dunford. Oh, yeah. And General behind him. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's too easy. He held the rank of Rear Admiral. <laughs> yeah. Today, oh, yeah. September 12th, 2019, means it's that like we're paying today for you these could jokes. be 18 years old, old enough to serve, and have not been alive on 9-11. It's a good point. We have that, got that's to math. put an that's end a good point. to endless war. I'm with him. And the way we do it is see to it that that country that will never again... <laughs> be used for an attack Internal against our lines. homeland, yeah. and that does not require... That wasn't the country being used. It doesn't... Really? What does it require? General Buttigieg? If there's one thing we've learned... Admiral? ...about Afghanistan... Rear Admiral Buttigieg. ...from Rear Afghanistan, Admiral. it's that the Get it, best he's gay. way not to uh. be caught up in endless war is to avoid starting one in the first place. Uh, so I keep them. We started the war yes, with Afghanistan. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So keep them from becoming a terrorist hotbed. It's like somebody punching you in the face in the schoolyard. And when you're Congress on the ground, they repeatedly the stomp at your, they stomp your dick in the dirt. And yes. if you say, teacher, teacher, like, why are you starting conflict? Yes. That's how why are you starting That's how you conflict? Take it! Well, you Saudi Arabia was really responsible. To take a vote on whether they ought to be I don't like any of them. By the way, we also <laughs> Wait, have a did he just say that? I think we should turn it into uh, Kal-El's bachelor pad, that whole area of the world. <laughs> 
Pretty we stunning. What's going yeah. on with flights it's a apparently cold. being routed through Scotland just so people can stay at his hotels? I'll tell you, as a military officer, what? the very first what is this thing are they still talking, talking first time you ever about Trump? Contact with somebody that you were responsible I don't know for what he's talking about. Well, let's listen. Maybe it'll make sense. Do not let these men and women down. This president he's is not. doing exactly that. He's, How? He what about? Hold on a second. They're not playing by their own rules. He's sitting men and women. What about non-binaries? Yes. What about oh, wow. Z's? What about Z's? What about these? They's? Oh, this there's you pulled the US troops Zers. out. Uh, his eye just exploded. We've seen in recent days on the ground. In what Iraq. about sequential uh, horned lizards? Shape shifters. Shape shifters. Shape shifters. You have said on the campaign trail, quote, I Where am I? President turned to me and said, Joe, <laughs> get our combat it's troops. Like, he looks like he just pooped and he's thinking of how to get out of it. Joe, <laughs> stop <laughs> touching little girls. I want this. Don't I want this for our next show. I want this and then a slow zoom and just an ad for Depends. And also, I mean, since we've been watching a lot of this with the sound down, he looks like the old puppet that Jeff Dunham has. He does. He does. Very puppet. Well, he I'm does look like he does. Ask you a question. I've been in and out of Afghanistan, not with a gun. Also, Pete Butkin gets his hand up his ass uh, for his service. But I've been out of he totally forgot, forgot his name, name again. Yeah. Yeah. Totally was, uh, forgot his name. Sorry, that guy, that, that feller over there. My, uh, my Me and the homo, we know about Afghanistan. <laughs> 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 right, champs. <laughs> Isn't that right, fruitcake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's from a Bible yeah. 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 <laughs> Together. Let me let me say it again. Shotgun. We're Fire in the air. All the terrorists There's run. Three different yeah. countries. Pakistan owns the three counties. The, 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 the counties. Three provinces. And the counties. <laughs> oh, he's lost what? it. What? He makes it sound like it's Rhode Island. Strip malls. Uh. <laughs> the point is that it's a counter-terrorism strategy. Oh, we can good. can prevent the United States from being the victim of terror coming out of Afghanistan. How? By providing for bases and assist the Pakistanis. Provide bases for us to, to airlift from and to move against Okay, here's something that's really oh, important to note right now. I actually don't think that what Joe Biden is saying is that unreasonable. It's not. Right, right here, it's not. That being said, exactly what he's saying right now is what they try and pin on George W. Bush and go, what about the Saudis? What about, or they try and do with uh, any previous president where they say, what about Iran? What about Egypt? You have to understand that at some point they were seen as the moderate Islamic countries. At one point you could wear bikinis in Iran. And so we yeah, thought, yeah. all right, yeah. Iran is better in the face of people who of course are being burned alive. Right now he's saying we need to partner up, we need to have, find some kind of support here with Pakistan. Of course, the greatest country in all of these, uh, this, this whole region of the world is Israel, but we can't say that because, no, you know, Ilan Omar might start fucking her brother. So, <laughs> whoa! It's real. That should sorry, be sorry, very funny. But I mean, quite literally, True she story. had sex with her biological brother. Over Google it, folks. Over. I don't have the time to do it. Google, Google it. it. Actually, I do. You can watch the previous video. <laughs> but the point is, what he's doing right now, what you need to understand is that right now, yeah, Pakistan is a more sensible ally. But what happens when 10 years from now, Pakistan is funding more terrorism. What Again. happens when they boot the United States and they decide to commit even more gross violations of human Again. rights because it's yeah. coming down the pike? Yeah. Then yeah. people look back and say, well, look, this guy said he was fighting terrorism, Joe Biden, but at that point, why was he buddies with Pakistan? That's what happens in the United Every States time. when you're dealing with Saudi Arabia. That's what happens when you're Iran, dealing with Qatar. Iran. People need to yeah. understand this is what happens. And sometimes we need to take out a Syria and an ISIS you try and make some kind of an alliance with Pakistan. So what I want to, I want to be clear, I'm actually throwing Joe Biden a bone that I don't think he's completely out of line. I do think that it is misguided because this is an area of the world, the Middle East. Now people are saying, wait, hold on a second. Do you mean the whole Middle East? Yeah. All yeah, of it, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. That they don't yeah. believe in democracy. They don't believe in it's republics the way we do. They think, hold on, if I kill you, I can be number one. That's still what they think. And Pakistan will be a crap hole in, dec in a decade, maybe two. And so I great don't want people to look back on Joe Biden <laughs> favorably because at this point in time, he said, hey, Pakistan's more moderate. I just, I, I on, think the, it's the unfair old guys. for people to judge people based on current history and not taking it in context. Yeah, the, the old guy here, let's see, me. The see what he says. Iraq. I was against it. The opposition. Before I was, it was me, it was me. Say, I mean, I kind of, you know, had the feeling. I had a feeling. There would be massive <laughs> I got the feeling. In that area. Area uh, of the world. If we went into that war. Wait. Uh, as the what, what feeling did you have, Bernie? I just can't fight this feeling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he's going. Oh, he's crossing his arms. I really forgot we've started below. fighting for. Defend us, yeah. huh. who have responded to the call of duty. The entire campaign he has, does Biden have no one to teach him, like, body language? I'm younger than Joe Biden. Am I? The three of Trump's <laughs> That's nothing to brag about. Think, <laughs> think. I love this. I voted against. I voted against all military budgets. What did you propose? 
three needles. <laughs> what? And tampons. Don't forget the tampons. What are you just? A, you, Sorry, that's not a plan. What are we supposed to give you a medal a because you opposed a military budget? Right. What's your alternative, you crazy old bastard? Well, Food you can either fight. play offense or defense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't lose. Why I'm lose it. Way. I'm sorry. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> if, if, we, if we have a food fight with MRE, someone's getting knocked out. Audio yeah, aid scene Animal true. House. Yeah. So I'm Every, I have two. Come on, I have two. <laughs> what is this? Give me credit here. Come on. From the Gulag. Hey. I want to take this to Mr. Yang. You should Ooh, Yang. Stages. Take it to the Yang. 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 I'm still waiting for him to cut a wrestling promo. Well, I want to hear what Andrew Yang's answer is on this because he has no foreign policy experience. The foreign relations committees with that top button is straining. Is Let me tell you something, Yeah, it is. It's hanging on for your life. You're a mania. You can't take the other button down. The, too that much, button too much is hanging on to the slip like Stallone and Cliffhanger. <laughs> Very true. No. Great movie. <laughs> Great? <laughs> I don't know. All right, hold on. I want to hear Yang. We have to start owning what we can and can't do. We're not very good at rebuilding countries. Like you. And if you want Shopping to at Gap you Adult. Not. Country Puerto Rico. <laughs> Young adult. We've spent trillions he paused of for applause. There was none. Benefits lost thousands of lives, and thank you, Pete, for your service. But and the goal Pete. has to be to rebuild. He was giving out hand jobs before the debate. Why is everyone thanking this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I would lead our armed forces. That's a certain kind of service. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. What the American people want is simply a president who has the who right gives you a thousand dollars a month. Point of view, and they can trust to make the right decisions when it comes to putting our young men and women into harm's way. And Somebody tell me where Iran is again. You know what? I, I like that, though. I like that. <laughs> I like that, too. But you know what? It's not true. You know who is the least the war hawkish president in recent is Donald Trump. Yep, that's true, yeah. too. People may not yep. like it. Yeah. He just gave Bolton the unceremonial boot. Good. He did. Michael Bolton. What is he even doing in the White House? <laughs> He's an untalented ass clown. clown. <laughs> ass clown. I celebrate his entire catalog. I killed forces in Venezuela. You got you it. Admit that when a man a bombs a building. You refuse to call Nicolas Maduro a dictator. A dictator. Can you explain? Dictator. Bernie Sanders is like, what? I'm sorry. What, what did you say, free? Huh? No, no habla hungry. <laughs> Cuba and Nicaragua. Hey, I want to know who's, who's <laughs> paying for Bernie Sanders, Sanders' dental plan. I, know, right? I like it. Is a vicious tyrant. Looks who like he has Invisalign. now is international and regional cooperation. For free oh, intervention. In yeah. well. Speaking intervention. of pirates, so Pete Budkin, thanks for your service. Can make and can create their own future. Hmm. Terms of democratic socialism. To wow. equate democratic socialism. Drink, drink, everybody. Drink. Drink. Uh, too cute, Maddie. Put up the drinking rules again, really quickly. I'll tell you what I believe in terms of democratic socialism. Oh, I want to hear this. For people who don't know. Oh, he said it again. Oh, gosh. Shut up. Guaranteeing health care to all oh. people as a human right. Thunderous. Health care, human right. Drink oh, twice. You know what? He just said health care, human right. I think it's uh, time for today's social justice warrior of the year. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That means we got to finish him? Yeah, it means you got to finish him. He said so many dumb things, we got to start doing heroin to catch up. <laughs> I'm glad we're not playing that game. You're not in charge of the games next time. <laughs> Someone call the serfs. Serfs, more beer, more mead. If we have mead, uh, that'd be pretty interesting if we had mead. Wait, you said the top one percent and the bottom wealth no, drinking uh, no. it. Oh, I'm glad I'm out of beer. The only problem is I'm revealing that I didn't chug because I cheated. Oh, you cheater! Cheater. Frickin serfs, Castro can't trust him. It's creating an thank economy you. that works for all uh, of us. Uh, thank you, Senator. We would like to Oh, move on. 1%! He said it again! Stop! Please, Stop! Uh, uh, Stop! Senator. I'm gonna pee! Senator. I'm gonna pee! Senator, we have to go. I mean, Senator. Okay, just for the work, just for the record, when we had housewives, we had beer filled. What, where did you get these, sirs? Uh, well, they're not very true. good sirs. They're, they're horrible sirs. My name is Castro, and so I know about socialism. People get the assistance that they need. Oh, this. Yeah. Uh, Gerald, stop passing out the wine of the day. That's the only booze we have left in the room. And also here in the United States, hey. offer a temporary protected status, TPS, to Venezuelans. That is something that the Trump protected administration has I'm sorry. failed yes. to do for all of his big talk. It's gotten to the point he's talking about How TPS. How dare you talk about intervening? Because he didn't talk about offering temporary protected right. status. Like, 
For all of Donald Trump's big talk, he didn't offer amnesty. Well, of course he didn't. What the? So that people can find Everyone. Uh, maybe you should not push for plans. Like socialism. Yeah, I'll take that one. Socialism. Social. Yeah, give me. Let's Easy. fill one of those, Cersei. You know what? You can take this back. Why don't you can drink this because it's warm. Yeah, I got a, I got an empty here. And uh, it needs to be open. It needs to. We have a country like China that is going I don't want to come off as a phobe, but I don't like this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't like that I'm, uh, that my sommelier is reek. <laughs> or the beer. No, she likes Don't me. look at me, there is I've only reek now. Gulag. Yo, this communism thing is working out, look at these slaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, this is a communist. Like Actually, this is communist. Okay. Uh, We're cool. You pour me two? Surf, all right, you can take this back there for yourself. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, open one and leave it with me. Yeah, leave I it would with like us. a glass filled with the tears of my enemies, please. Hey, would you, uh, that's okay, that's, that's enough. Two is enough. There you go. Would you, surf, would you like a, would you like a cigar here? Come on. Let him have a cigar. Oh, yeah, let him have a cigar. Grab yourself a cigar. Yeah. He's a good Wait. dude. I'm good, sir. Thank you. It won't fill his oh, belly. Get out. <laughs> yeah, take it. Take it while I give it to you. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait a uh, I'm going to take out my north wall so I can watch you, line you up and shoot you for not being purebred European bloodline. Sorry, dude. Well, you have a bird. Gerald, what if you get a country? bird? This right here would be dinner. It is dinner. It's dinner. It's dinner in this studio. If you don't you leave the cute bird alone. <laughs> that bird bit me, by the way. That's because it senses evil. This is a true story. I don't care what Cory Booker's saying. <laughs> I don't even see this. Back, I don't know if anyone can see it. Back off a little. There you go. Right there. You shot a finger Booker? Right there. That's because you're a pansy. That's why we can't see it. That was Tim from HR's bird. Close the damn door, sir. It was Tim from HR's bird, and he yeah. bit me. Did yeah. you hear the story? Oh, yeah. And it was, Tim was gone to Deservedly. Ecuador Tommy bit me. for a baptism, and he came back, and it was like his first day back. And so I uploaded a video pissed. to YouTube where I said, ah, oh, the little bastard bit me. And then my wife told me that when I left, she was like, Tim from HR is really worried. She thinks he went like, he thinks you're mad at the bird. And then somebody <laughs> auto-tuned like, it. Tim from HR was the like, little bastard oh, bit me. I screwed up. The bird bit Steven. He's been having a bad day. <laughs> he's infected him with, God, you know, God, bird God, be nice to these guys. First of all, I mean, he's lucky he didn't feed the bird to Betty. All right. Yep. Uh, yes. Oh. Well, exactly. But okay. Well, I feel like we haven't been watching enough of the debate for people out there. I'm sorry again. Uh, this is a, this is a watch along because we care about our on? mental health. That's <laughs> what yeah, right. true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are they talking about? Is the Amazon burning? Greenland is melting at a record pace. Oh, climate change. Okay, climate let's do this. Please, I really want to. I really want to hear this. Question. Is this plastic straws? There's what no good man. Action. Will you take <laughs> to not good man. Of climate change, and can we Nothing, because you can't. Through Sorry. If your donors are against it. What? How you feel if it's yes, a little hot? It's a little hot. Regardless <laughs> of the political consequences or who it offends, because regardless of the political the con consequences, like coming dead last next to Andrew Yang <laughs> in the primary polls. Yes. On it. We will make Mino gusta. No comment. No comment. No gusta. No later than the year 2050. That we are halfway there. <gasps> Bullshit. By oh gosh, I'm sorry. That's it. Mobilize five trillion dollars over the next yeah, ten years to do that. that five trillion dollars. Is Beto O'Rourke calls it a rounding error. So wait, to or twenty-five percent of the national debt. To stop global warming, and only everyone knows it takes twenty trillion, but he starts with five. But how do we stop it? No one's presenting ideas. Well, let me hear this, and yeah, that, listen and learn. Your Shut money. your beautiful Greek master. lips and learn. No ablo <laughs> math. Than ever. We're yeah, also going to make sure is. that we free yeah, ourselves from a dependence on fossil fuels oh, and embrace renewable Nuclear? wind and solar energy technology. Didn't they make fun of Trump for saying wind? High skill. No, they made fun of Trump. Okay, a couple of things wind. here, really quickly. And wind and solar make up 3%. Let me just hit you with some really suck. quick facts, they okay? Suck. Wind and solar make up 3% of our country's energy. Now. We have drastically reduced our carbon emissions almost entirely yes. due to fracking, which everyone on the stage has opposed, Boom. okay? Let's be really clear here. Not only have we done that, but we've also reduced our dependency on foreign oil. The United yes. States is now actually exporting oil. Oh. So, it's not wind and solar. We've reduced our carbon emissions. We've reduced the price of energy, and we've done so while crippling terrorist economies who yes. hopefully can be sent back to the dark ages from whence they came. Something else. Say also, wind and solar cost more lives and use more energy. Yeah. People yes. learn, do, you, do you realize the lowest uh, number of deaths too. per kilowatt hour of energy produced is nuclear? nuclear. Something else to keep in mind, guess how, guess, 
Guess how many carbon emissions come from nuclear energy? Two. Five. Mm, none. Zero oh. percent. Oh, yeah. Zero, Zero percent. So if these Democrats <laughs> had their close. way, we We're wouldn't close. be fracking, which has drastically reduced our carbon emissions. I think we've right. reduced it by... Uh, is it, it, 10% would be conservative and reduce wow. our costs quite it's a bit. It's been a good reduction. And... Uh, they would have tried to force us into solar and wind. And by the way, solar and wind still have to operate on some kind of an electricity grid, which cannot yeah, yes. be run off of some lithium battery. People understand no. the technology is not there yet. And they, they're going to try and talk about encouraging innovation. Listen, there is nobody who Solindra. innovates less effectively than the federal government. That's true. For some reason, Amy Klobuchar is trying to sell you that she's figured out something that Elon Musk has missed. Yes. Batteries are not there yet. They're not even close. They're not even. They're not even close enough to power an airplane. Yeah. Let it. Let alone power an entire municipality. When they are, we let could us tomorrow. Know. We could tomorrow use nuclear energy, which has the lowest amount of human deaths yeah. or human illnesses or suffering as it relates to kilowatts of energy per hour. Uh, immediately and has zero carbon emissions, which would, of course, also reduce our dependency on any kind of foreign oil. And by the way, foreign oil where they don't have EPA standards. You think China right. gives a crap, they don't give a crap. about how they're no. drawing from the ground? You think Saudi no. Arabia does? But the only person on the stage, actually, who does support nuclear is Booker. So I want to go back to this really Booker quickly T. and see if they attack him for it. Let's hear Elizabeth Warren because she has her ear to the ground <laughs> as it relates to nature. Whoa. We can do this. Watching the smoke we signals. Also Burn need wood. To help around the world Good fire. Clean, but understand no, we don't. this one more time. Why doesn't it happen? Thank as you. long as Washington oh. is paying more attention to money than it is to our future, no. we can't make the changes we need to make. We what? have to attack the corruption head on so that we can. Well, then save we'll attack you. Let me ask you this. So let's 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 uh, sort of break down that as long as washington is paying more attention to money so what does she mean they're they're getting money from fossil fuels so what we should be doing as washington dc as the representatives is we should be not taking money from fossil fuels but giving money to green energy like i don't know take solyndra if we're solyndra, looking for it's a great company i hear it's got a bright so, future for some reason all of a sudden, Elon Musk, people who are developing new green technologies, where the market is not caught up yet, and they have every single financial incentive humanly possible to do so, yeah. they're going to do Still it sucks. because Kamala Harris has offered them some kind of subsidy or grant, but... Yeah. It's not about following the money. No. The, their solution to all these problems is still money. It's just about giving your money, the taxpayer money, to somebody else. Yeah. They're bitching about... And by the way, when you look at this, there is no industry, as it relates to energy, less subsidized than fossil fuels. It is far less subsidized than wind and solar yeah. and these other renewables, which, by the way, still account suck. for less than 3% they suck. of the United States yeah. energy. And if you want to know how that works in the long term, look to Germany. Compare France, nuclear, yep. Germany, uh, wind and solar. Not only is their energy incredibly expensive, they have brownouts, but they then have to sell their energy at a net Loss. negative price because they have surges and they don't have any yeah. way to store it nope. with their electrical grid. The, the battery technology isn't there yet, but because Elizabeth Warren has an opinion, we're supposed to believe that all of a sudden energy consumption is going to change? Well, and we're exporting that thought, right? If you're a country trying to get up on its feet in Africa right now, we're saying, no, 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 you can't burn coal. You have to have clean energy. And they're like, well, we can't afford it. We'll keep burning wood. That right. seems like a good idea. This is, this is the thing. They're dealing in what ifs. Nice. I just heard this in, in the Ted Cruz, Alyssa Milano interview. They said, well, we don't deal in what ifs. We deal in what is. Okay. You, right now, you're dealing oh, with what ifs as far as climate change. What is, if your policies are enacted, it will result in tens, if not hundreds of millions of lives lost through the dramatic increase in energy costs in third yeah. world countries. We know that's the what is. What could be is this environmental catastrophe that you've been promising for decades. But you guys said that Florida was going to be gone by now and it's the Great not, Lakes would right. be dried up. No. Florida's still there, yeah. and we have record highs, which, by the way, the record highs in uh, the Water Great level. Lakes and the record crop yields that you see in Michigan with cherries and the rest That's of it. not bad. They also blame on climate change. That feeds people. So, you that know. keeps them alive. you got to balance it You know what else feeds people? Good thing. GMOs. GMOs. Let's hear Andrew Yang, and I want to go back to feeding people. Remind me if I forget. Roger that. One side and the money on the other. The only way for us to win is if we bring them together. Feed me. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Please. The yin and the yang, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to see a little bow. Yeah. So, Steven, yeah. tell us about feeding we'll people. Stay with you. Here in Houston, Wait, what's... what's uh, are they in I, forgot, I forgot the name of that black actress who's on that show, uh, Empire. Rosaria Darson. She's, she's no, no, no. Jesse Smollett. Juicy Smollett. No. Juicy Smollett. No. Juicy Smollett. So, Jesse, the newest respect. For charter schools. Oh. You have said that Democrats who want to limit them are, quote, just jumping into bed with teachers. What do you think, Mr. Hun? 
it's a disservice. <laughs> I, I like Why this guy. Isn't tax yeah. Money better spent on fixing. I mean, all right. Honestly, out of all of the people up there, if I was going to vote for I any of them. Be by the way, yeah. people saying you're cool. afraid to have Andrew Yang on. We've invited Andrew Yang on. We've communicated with Andrew Yang directly. He said he would be on. He hasn't come on. He's busy. Every He's single there. candidate. Has, no, I'm not talking. I'm talking about throughout all time. You mean tonight? He's debating the. We asked Iroquois him to come woman. tonight. He said <laughs> He's no. <laughs> no, she's Algonquin. Yeah. Fact check. Let's get the little fact on that. Fact check. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Algonquin. One You're confusing that it's easy to do the nomadic and sedentary Native American tribe. My bad. I don't want to get niche up. here. But he, he confused Niche. a nomadic tribe for one that was agrarian. Oh, no. He made that <laughs> mistake. Oh, 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 oh. To the gulag. What an idiot. No wonder Rookie. Greece is no longer an economic That's superpower. True. This is good content. <laughs> <laughs> this is real highbrow. I don't know, smart ass remark. <laughs> I don't He's know why. Highbrow. Look, yeah, high high Look, you're the one liner, not him. <laughs> you. I don't know why, for some reason, like, he's supposed to. What are you supposed to be, Che? But for some reason, he looks like Guile from Street Fighter has been changed. <laughs> he does, yes. Guile's lost a little he bit looks of like his form. I'm Street sorry, you know. Like, in a clock tower. He hasn't shaved for a here's while, he can't I do the ate kick. Most of the rations. Can you hit right. Sonic Boom? <laughs> Sonic Boom, just do it yeah. once. That's all I want. All right, the promo code is Crowder Debate Stream. That's also the hashtag to let us know. We'll be reading your sign ups after Sonic the next break. Um, very complex. All right, let me hear. I, I want to hear him. Uh, and then let me get back to feeding people. We've got to teach more to do with critical thinking and social and emotional learning. Some of it mm -hmm. is extremely you know simple. You what I heard? Just got He's to gay. Pay teachers more. <laughs> it's been rumored. Got to lift yeah. up the teaching profession. Allegedly. I was thinking of a Allegedly. story from South Bend. I don't really care. His ideas still uh, suck. It doesn't matter He's that he does, too. I'm just saying his ideas suck. Who I wanted he? to be a teacher, and they kept in touch with her when she went back Who to Japan to college. college. Uh, she took the exam to try to become a teacher uh, in a society that done. really regards. Did they move on from climate change already to uh, we education. Moved on. Just yeah. short. Okay, so, you know so this is one thing academic. we'll talk about more so on the show. We'll do a full segment on this. Sure. They always talk about you know uh, cow farts, and so going plant based is better for the environment. I like cows. Yep. Now we don't really care about climate change because you know we're pricks. Yeah, yeah pretty but much. Let's like, take that on face value. I'm done with the believes, soda. Right I throw it out the window. Everyone believes yeah. that a vegetarian diet, a plant-based diet, if if we didn't care about becoming anemic or being strong or yeah. growing a vagina, right? If we didn't right. care about that, we On would all go to a plant-based diet because yeah. it would be better for the environment. Sure. Right. Whoops. Well, here's the thing. Has anyone ever taught you about topsoil? Tell us. They've actually I've turned the back. Bag. Actually, I think I have some sources on this not, here somewhere. Not, but not, I had Lear Keith in the show, I think, four or five years ago, and oh, she was okay. talking about this. Think about this for a second. If you have to go to a plant-based diet. What do you have to do to grow those plants? Do you have to clear cut territory for farm. You do. And that destroys topsoil. The best thing we could do for the environment, if we're talking about a diet, would be to kill what we eat to hunt, because hunters make sure that the population is, is healthy. Yeah. Sustainable. They make sure to pre yeah. preserve an environment where yep. they can thrive. Right. Um, and they make sure to also, like, for example, just look at deer hunters. They don't kill does, for example, right. or, or the babies yeah. at certain times of the year. Or they make sure that there's there's a culling that takes place. If they're too competitive for food sources, Humanitarian. they'll actually ensure that there's enough food as a resource for Humane, all of these deer. The best thing that we could do for the environment wouldn't be clear cutting all of this territory to create a bunch of farms Farm so everyone yeah. could eat plant-based, the best thing we could do is eat what we kill and grow vegetables hydroponically. But that's not very sexy. Pot, baby. No one wants to talk about that. It's actually worse for the environment yeah. if you look at the effect on topsoil that occurs with a plant-based I've diet. never seen a healthy Not to mention vegan. it makes yeah. you gay. And, I, and not to mention, I've started getting my meat from like uh, sustainable farms. It even tastes better. Yeah, grass oh, Of beef. course it does. Yeah, yeah. It's I get awesome. eggs from uh, local farms, and it's like yeah. school bus orange. The yolks, it's Love a it. huge Ooh. difference. Yeah, it's good stuff. Keep bragging. Well, Look, I mean, don't. The, 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 you you can't get any of these things in <laughs> Canada, <laughs> yeah. can you? We do. No, Someone else talk for a second. Actually, really? I have a source Canada's here about great. You're an absolute Canada's top doing soil. great. Greece is doing even better, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because the, 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 that's the thing that always cracks me up with a lot of these environmental things, like you know. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oops. All right, here. This is this is trivia. It's not one of our trivia. Yeah, here we go. Welcome I found to this. my Sorry. world. Okay. That's what it's like to be Gerald, man. Okay, how many tons of topsoil are lost annually? Uh, Two to erosion, thanks Five. mainly to Five. plowing and intensive cropping. Three. I'm sure, I was low. Four. One. Twenty-five to forty billion tons of topsoil wow. are I was lost annually. I said five. That was way off. I said five. I was. By the way, here's nine. something else. You want to go plant-based because you want to save animals, right? We all agree we don't want to kill animals. Well, no. I mean, no. if they're How tasty, many them. more animals are killed in the harvesting of plants than an actual eating of animals? What? 
to talk to me, Goose. This is, might sound like oh, a trick question. Mm. It is. Produ this Five actually, million. we have a source here. Producing wheat, other grains results in 25 Six. times more sentient animals being killed per kilogram of usable protein, more environmental damage, and more animal cruelty than farming red meat. Carry the one. Wow. 25 times more sentient animals. But no one gives a rat's wow. about no one gives a rat's ass about the field mouse. No, because he really. said the city's okay for a visit, you can't make me live there. Well then stay in the field and we're gonna kill your ass because we <laughs> yeah, we'll just corn. kill you. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Sorry. We need our grain. No one understand no one even thinks about these things. Alright, I wanna hear her. She's doing this. Screw you, we're we're so we have a picture of a young Kamala Harris if anybody would like oh, to see it. Yeah, throw it up. Yeah, there she wow, is. she was cute. Oh, oh, oh I love her in house party. She was bad. great. <laughs> I, I, I love Can someone her and bring up a picture of house party? In living color. I was gonna say I love her house party. Guess what? Guess. Chicken butt. <laughs> Socialism. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> That's still a classic. I can't the highest even. child poverty rate of almost any country on earth. What? We have it's because we raised the poverty level. Mozambique is saying, I'd like to talk to you for a yeah, second. Hold my beer. <laughs> three jobs to support themselves. Bullshit! Bullshit! This is one of the biggest lies. Bullshit! The Americans are having to work two or three jobs. I have the numbers right here. I think it's less. It's less than five percent. It's yeah. four point something percent of Americans who work more than one job. And by the way, that is remarkable when you take into consideration that the average American work week right now mm -hmm. is thirty-four hours. Yeah. So when people right. talk about the American dream being out of reach, well, do you mean the American dream where your grandfather or your father worked? 50 hours, 60 hours a week so they could afford an 1,100 Boom. square foot home? Or are you talking about the American dream where you think you should be working at Starbucks serving people drinks that they can't afford as they go to jobs that cannot pay for those drinks to, for some reason, live in a 25 square foot home? This is unbelievable to me. It's a 34 hour work week right now on average. You're oppressed. And less than 5% of Americans work more than one job. It's not true. And I'm just saying, if you work more than one job right now, spend the extra time getting trained up so you can work one job. I love you to death. Yeah. My dad did it a lot. I helped him out. No big deal. Yeah. You have to get out of that cycle some way, somehow. Yeah, or, or if, you're, if you're working a second job, use that job for savings. Do I got an even better idea. How about some somebody get, uh, get Steven a joint? Let him calm down a bit. Yeah, <laughs> let him get some vaping joints. Those are better. I mean, we're about to outlaw them, but nonetheless. No, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna outlaw vaping cannabis. Oh, we're only well, going to outlaw Colorado could care less. They're nicotine, partying now, which, yeah. by the way, has contributed to guess how many deaths? Mm -hmm. It's the Nansky. same amount of deaths have, have come Nansky. from vapes as uh, uh, carbon emissions from nuclear energy. Five mm. zero. You're wrong. I see what you did there because you're trying to tee it up for me, and I appreciate None. that, product, and that's what I love about <laughs> five thousand zero percent. Oh, zero. Zero percent. Zero. Zero All deaths. the deaths from vaping came from actually I mean, contaminated I black market cannabis that was Douchey, contam 80%. contaminated with vitamin E. Vitamin E acid, which isn't bad for you by itself, no. when heated to the temperature of vaporization, becomes tox you know, toxic, ah, apparently. Dang. And explosive. Well, I, so, I, I, yeah. yeah, it does I mean, explode. But at, so, least, at least in Colorado, they can have their magic mushrooms, but <laughs> Jewel not. is a bridge too far. Jewel yeah. is, yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, back to energy is for a second, because you brought up yeah. nuclear. Yeah. I mean, is there a specific reason why they're against nuclear other than, eh, I don't like it? Chernobyl. Uh, it's, it's, this, is a, this is the problem. Is it's, all about, case. it's all about political... It's a Po it's all about scoring political points and public good. sentiment, right? Mm. There are three main accidents that have ever occurred with nuclear energy. There's obviously Fukushima, Chernobyl, Chernobyl. and Three Mile Island. Three Mile Island yes. well, uh, but mean, when you compare those rates... Was Fukushima an accident or we dropped a bomb on them? That was <laughs> yoga. You're, you're, you're drunk. Oh, and, and by the way, that's also... Brodigan, go home, you're all, drunk. Well, no, 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 no. no he's not that's, wrong. Where, that's where they invited me. It's also <laughs> easily confused for uh, modern-day Detroit. Oh, it's hard yeah, to keep track yeah. of all no, of it. No, plant did blow up there, right? But no? yeah, Fukushima. No. But if you look no. at the actual yeah, no, yeah, blew up there. there were more <laughs> deaths that came from the evacuation practices than from. This is one thing. If I if I send no message home with you tonight, I guess you're already home, so I'm not sending you home. You're probably drunk in your pants right now. You're probably like more pants. You're probably don't, drunk don't in your pantaloons against pantless. Oh, um, pantless. Sitting it's on fine. a chair. Go with it. You're sitting on your chair in <laughs> yeah. your union suit. Uh, Pantsless. It's that nuclear energy could solve label. our entire energy crisis Done. overnight, right now. Overnight. You want to stop? You want to stop funding Saudi close. Arabia? It's you want to stop foreign oil? It's not even close. Nuclear energy tomorrow. And by the way, they've come up with great ways to figure out how to reuse the waste. Every technology moves and advances. <gasps> my God. Oh my gosh, Castro! Look, when there's no voice, he looks so gay. <laughs>
does. You know what it really surprised like me? I think everyone watching this is the amount of windmill related deaths. Yes. Oh yeah. And for birds, for if birds. you're an, if you're an animal activist, it kills birds by well, the not, thousands. Well, but not only that. If you look at the auxiliary deaths, Screw think about this. Birds. When you look at solar panels, Don Quixote hates them too. When you look at solar, they're going next to windmills, putting their heads through it. Like, what are you, you know doing? doing? I got that reference. That's literally. Well, it's it's not only it's also the building of windmills. Oh, is that? But it's also think about this with with solar panels. These solar panels, they're made up of a lot of times very exotic minerals. Sometimes like like nickel. I don't know if we have the exact. I, I don't that. know all of the minerals, but they have to be mined. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so that's you, so that's what we're talking. Mining okay, is okay. clean. We're, yes. Yeah. If it's done by human hands because they're slaves, it's clean, right. Stephen. Yes. If you do what okay. my country does and there. jail it's political small. dissidents and send everybody else to work camps, children it works well. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. I didn't Thank think about you. where they get those minerals. Thank you. Back my boy. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand. And, and, and usually too, with these, when they get stored, if you talk about like a Prius, they get stored in giant non-recyclable batteries that go in the earth. Yeah. So it's listen, like a it's, battery it's, landfill. I, I would love to see more development in battery technology. I would it's love to see yet. batteries Fine. be able to actually, for example, propel a plane. Yeah, that would be incredible, be nice. and it would make awesome. uh, personal aviation more accessible. We're just not there yet, and Look, the free market yeah. has been trying to do it for a very long time. Yeah. Castro, if he's president, tossing them a few billion dollars isn't going to make a difference. No. But let's hear what he has to say with his blue tie. Years ago this year, that the Supreme Court outlawed racial segregation. In Kerry Washington. Yeah, Kerry uh, Washington. Uh, the other Corey black. No, Cory Booker. Cory Booker. Rosario Dawson. He's looking at her, thinking uh, <laughs> Rosario oh, Dawson, yeah, saying, "I bet on the wrong horse." <laughs> Less access to computers. I look angry. And often I don't mean that they're horse faced. I What's just, I, that's, they look like horses. That's this all. This is the suits the Tom Wolf was buried in. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they exhumed Tom so, Wolf to get the suit. Uh, the white suit. Also, the one that Beck still wears today. I live in a black and brown community. Black and brown. I've lived in public for almost a decade and saw the anguish. Let's go, devils! <laughs> devils, the devils. Ah. It's the best part of Jersey. <laughs> Seinfeld. It's the best part of Seinfeld. Oh. The best part of Jersey that New York sports teams will play. All right, there. Hold, I want to hear what they're saying for a little bit. Guys, salary. We actually did it in four Newark, beers Jersey, in, man, and we didn't stop there. We had we closed Wait, poor performing charter schools, but Dag Nabbit, we Dag Nabbit, Dag Nabbit, Wait, hold on a second. Performing charter. Did he just say we, we closed four performance <laughs> charter schools? Dag Nabbit, four. <laughs> I think no. I think he, he opened more, but oh, he opened more because no, 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 no. He got a hundred million dollars from Mark Zuckerberg that's, that's what, that's and what screwed say. it up. That's what he's going to say. Failed miserably. I've studied this. He caused Mark Zuckerberg yeah. to rethink his oh, whole outlook on yes. the world. <laughs> Holy shite! I can't help people with money, can I? Did he, Dag Nabbit? See, all of a sudden he's Irish. Nonetheless, <laughs> Darn it. it sounds like he's gonna go hunt we, Bucks, buddy. Yeah. Dang, <laughs> nabbit, I tell you what. I mean, Zuckerberg was like, "Here's a hundred million dollar check. Who can scribble a hundred million dollars?" Yeah, Holy shit! Cory Booker knew it. Got it done. <laughs> we're redlining communities, disinvesting in communities. Oh, Biden and agrees. They're dressed that, alike. Kids are not only struggling with. They look, they look like twins. Oh, I want it. And and the challenges of underfunded schools, but mm -hmm. they're also ch struggling. With well, if, if that were the case, if it's about if underfunding, then D.C. and Detroit schools would be the most successful in the country yes. because they have significantly higher than average pure pupil spending. Yes. I think the average, uh, when we did a Detroit video in 2009, was somewhere on nine to 10,000, and Detroit had nine. over 11,005. Yeah. Per I think person? now that, yeah, per student, per I think, per, student I think per now year. it's up to 11,000 something because, you know, government, inflation. And uh, in Detroit, it's like 13,000. 13 so Detroit, 14, yeah. D.C., Chicago, they have higher Horrible. than national average per pupil spending and they don't do any better the idea that throwing more money at the problem of public education will solve it is simply not no. something you can observe from the numbers so what are we saying like, the teachers are just horrible What's no no the problem? no, no, no. If, if Cory Booker saying all we need is a little bit more money and look at my school record is saying look at my humans right human right record from Kim Jong-il like, yeah I was good I didn't kill that many people look at the people right. before me yeah, yeah. 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 they did yeah. worse could have been more I can't believe he is talking about schools in a positive way. If anybody looks at his record, you will see he found a way to lose $100 million and not change a damn thing in Newark. Though I right. do There's believe... There's a book written about it. Read it. It is absolutely crushing. What's the name of the book? He's done. I can't remember the name of it. I'll look it up in a minute. Pages. But I do oh. believe Stal Booker sucks. Stalin's Stalin's long -term memory. Stalin is uh, <laughs> a little inebriated. Should have cleaned so, your pipes. No, should not, be one of the priorities. Education is so important because by educating the youth right, as they're growing up, that's how you're going to get rid of all, all kinds of problems. That's how you're going to get rid of Cory Booker. Get rid of the yeah. youth? Oh, These no, 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 idiots no, no, no. are going okay. to politics. Yeah, you get, you get kids educated. They're better. The next generation is better. Right now, that's a good point. The problem is they're smart enough not to run for office. 
Right. Well, I think no, I think it's a good point that Ben Tellis is bringing up. And here's the deal: everybody cares about education. The sole solution to education from everyone on that stage is, is money. Is yeah. throw more money yes. at it. Whereas when they say Republicans, conservatives don't have solutions, we say, hold on a second, what about charter schools? Hold on a second, this is a good example. This is one that I've talked about for a long time, and this is sort of a very libertarian idea. But it's not to me, it's not that outlandish. Let's say right now we spend an average, let's just round the number so it's an even round number. Yep. 10,000 per pupil. Okay. okay? So right. 10,000 per pupil is what we spend. The Republican, the libertarian solution is right now that $10,000 goes to a school, period. The kid has to go to that school because they're born or they live in their district. Yeah. Let's attach that $10,000 right. to the student as a voucher so that the student can take $10,000 to okay. any school they want. Oh, that's interesting yeah. too, yeah. Much yeah. better. They now, you might have a problem with overcrowding. Still, well, no, 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 that's no. not even their argument. Their argument is companies well, schooling the up inner cities right. won't exist anymore because kids will travel out on buses. So good, Home travel school. to the best school. You it's, want your kid yeah, to exactly. be the Home best school. Teachers would have to perform Obviously. school. I wanted would have to everyone perform. out there to see this through the eyes of an innocent Canadian. Yeah, no, no, Hold no. no. See this an innocent Greek. We invented, <laughs> we invented, we invented the schools. Prize. We invented these academies. Listen, I'm telling you, it's so important. Education is so important. You want the kids to get the best education possible. So I don't give a crap. I don't give a shit. They if don't your care neighborhood has a school, if your school's garbage, send the kid to a better school. They don't That's care. That's how you're going to fight. All these problems that you're talking about, there's two things that you guys never really address here and you should. Number one, when you talk about gun violence and everybody's like, well, get rid of the guns. How about we talk about mental health? Well, you know what they all have in common? Not the kind of guns they use. The fact that they're all crazy, but nobody yeah. wants to talk about it, right? Because they're heavily medicated people nobody wants to talk about this stuff no. but they are let's talk about that and they also have no dads well the book yeah, hold yeah. on the book so, the let's book, talk about that the book i was referencing read about a cory booker screwing up uh newark worse than anybody else mark zuckerberg 100 million dollars mm. called the prize the prize it will it, it excoriates booker which He's is ironic done. because booker's no prize either yeah. he's not a prize <laughs> no, that's not a bad he idea. had clang 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 he freaking had trolley. oprah winfrey <laughs> And a hundred million dollars for Mark Zuckerberg, and was like, "Shh, he was talky. I he can't was do banging this. Oprah Winfrey. Well, at the time, did you know that? Uh, uh, Corey yeah, Booker. They, yeah, they were. They Ma were like Corey uh, Booker, Booker. Maybe Oprah they was were banging like the him. Bash Brothers. Stedman was tapping Booker in, and he was going to town just Joe, plowing I can't do Oprah. It. Oh, you know what? Um, See, you're, you're wrong. Corey Stedman Booker's doesn't get a first up. run. He gets oh. second run. All right, we're gonna go to a commercial second. break since this is a bunch of so, a bunch of crappy white people commercials. <laughs> <laughs> In case you ever wondered why, uh, if you ever had doubts as to what's so funny is their commercial is a girl on an iPhone. Yeah, oh. it's a girl on an iPhone and a guy on an iPhone. Yeah, that's a girl. Too. Hold your camera the right way. All right, I okay. identify as a woman, uh, though I look like a man. Before we go to this break, again, the promo code is credit debate stream. That's the promo Do code it. you use at loudofcredit.com slash You get $20 off if you join right now. Um, the question before the break, trivia question, is what did Bernie say about... Oh, wait, no, that's no, the no, no, one. No, 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 next one, next one. Next one is, in his 28 years in office, out of the 350 bills he's authored, how many has Bernie Sanders managed to get signed into law? It's in his 28 years in office, out of 350 bills he's offered, how many bills has Bernie Sanders managed to get signed into mm, law? We're ball. going to have that answer One and more Less when we two. come back from this break. This is for all you lovers out there. Do not attempt the training techniques you are about to see without consulting a professional. Tonight on Crowder 911. I don't think Joe Biden knows what he's doing. A physically inappropriate politician. He's at the point where he gropes every person that walks by. Hey, Joe, stop. Wreaks havoc on the lives of his voters. Joe! Not again. At first I thought he was cool, but then he started kissing my neck and sniffing. Hey! No! This Joe Biden was clearly out of control, and it was time for someone to do something about it. Yo. Quarter person of color Garrett and his co-worker Maddie have been dealing with a politician with no respect for boundaries or personal space. Hey, corner black. Hey. What seems to be the problem? Well, it's Joe Biden here. He, he won't stop sniffing and, and kissing people. It's uh -huh. a real problem. I, yeah? I've done everything. I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, see, the first thing you did is right now, when he's, you're very tense. You're giving off that energy okay. and you actually encourage that behavior. I encourage it? That's right. Okay. Oh, what do I do? The first thing we need you to do is get your Joe Biden to a calm, relaxed state. And we're going to do that with no talk, no touch, no eye contact. Okay? Okay. That's right. All right. It's okay to drop the leash. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay. It's okay. Now, you see what I did? Is I do a small correction when Joe Biden goes in to kiss him. I just, see? I'm stopping the brain from escalating to a state of sexual assault. That's right. I just feel bad for him. I don't think Joe Biden knows what he's doing. My correction is not to hurt Joe Biden, but just to snap the brain out of it. Okay, now, now do try. It's okay. Okay. That's okay. No? Calm assertive. Calm assertive. Hey, hey, hey! See, this the quarter black is giving off a tense energy and escalating. He's asking himself, is it Joe Biden going to kiss my neck? Is he going to make a hair puppet? And Joe Biden is already escalating his energy to match. And he's rubbing shoulders and kissing the faces. Calm, assertive, assertive. That's it. That's right. That's right. You are the alpha of the pack. Hey, it's, yes, that's it. Okay, correction, correction, correct. Yeah, that's right. Because he can only have water when you say he can have water. Oh, okay. That's right. Boundaries, consistency. Now you can have water. You can, you can have. You can have. Now, this quarter black was doing really good with his Joe Biden. So it's time to introduce a new challenge. Okay, took you, Maddie? It's okay. Go. It's okay. No, 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 Coming up on Crowder 911. That's not good. Watch more and follow our second channel, youtube.com slash CrowderBits. Not again. Break yourself, fool! If you don't join Mug Club, Maddie will die. Hi, this is Crowder911 telling everybody to join at lottowithcrowder.com slash mug. And don't forget to train your Joe Biden with discipline, exercise, and affection. And don't forget to get your Joe Biden spayed or neuter. That's right. I was talking with my producer and I wasn't really paying attention here. I had to take oh, a bare pee we're back on. before oh. we came on. Okay, uh, the answer to the question, by the way, before we get back to this debate, because uh, <laughs> I hate myself. 28 years in office out of 350 bills he's authored, how many has Bernie Sanders managed to get signed into law? Three. Lawton? Anyone know? Three. Well, yeah, you're, you're cheating. No, no I didn't oh, yes, no. oh, one more than I thought. You son you're of a- You're cheating, Twinkie Einstein. <laughs> I, I wrote, wrote the, the answer down in my chair, and now you say it. Oh, you go Wait, why do you still have the gun that's supposed to be brought <laughs> go, to that chair? Stole, he stole I gave him problem. the gun. You guys are right. People don't know how to control the guns that's in this true. country. Three. Yeah, you yeah, three. 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 Uh, all right, we have a couple of sign-ups. So, again, the, the promo code, the hashtag is Crowder Debate Stream. You get $20 off if you join Mug Club tonight. 2Q oh, Maddie, let's show some new sign-ups. Whoa! We have, what's that yes. guy's name? I can't read it. Levi, Levi Vandergrift. Levi, thank you very much, Old Levi Testament, sir. Levi loved his rather. money. And then Tommy got it's my Mug Club yeah. subscription. Yeah. There's your purchase oh, confirmation. Jesus. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully we don't get banned. And then there's All Dylan. There's more. Nice. Dylan Dennis. Dylan. Thank you Dylan. very much. Dylan, we appreciate Dylan, it. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Let's go oh, on. Elizabeth Warren looks like she's having a stroke. We're going to go back right now to this topic. It's her resting face. I know what's broken. I want That's to be scary. in the fight to that fix it in America. Thank That's you. That's in America. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. You can't take a punch. Senator Sanders, did you crap in your face? Uh oh. Growing up in a rent controlled apartment in. Brooklyn, New York, the son Which of an immigrant Brooklyn. to this country without a nickel. The worst. And I never got a real job. Professional <laughs> resilience means to be charged 
running for U.S. Senate in Vermont and getting 1% of the vote. Running for governor and getting 2% of the vote. I sucked for a long time. <laughs> to, to make up for it, I couch surfed yeah. until I achieved my lifelong goal of suckling at the government yeah. teeth. There you go. I ran again. Because <laughs> no one else would. He almost lost against himself. <laughs> Who are you losing to? Yeah. Wall Street drink. Whether oh. it's the insurance industry. Whether it is Beer the pharmaceutical four. industry whose corruption and greed, greed is drink people oh. today, and curing lots of Whether diseases. Should be number five. Hey, oh, okay, oh, 2Q oh, Maddie, bring up the uh, overlay of the uh, the drinking, drinking game. Who don't remember? Complex. We're not doing another SJW this guy's moment of the day. Right? Sleep. It's getting close. They're given a lifelong record. Are they allowed to get physical in these debates? They should. Of <laughs> taking money. They sh it should have like the UFC the type of rules. He always says he yeah. stands up for the working yeah. families. But Bernie, when have you ever been a part of an actual working family? <laughs> Never. Stop asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually agree with Pentelis. I, I want Andrew Yang to put Cory Booker in the walls of Jericho or something. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not just Seriously, he's never. Bernie Sanders you, Sanders has never been working class. Thank you. He never Sanders worked Sanders. outside that of public a, office. A no. rambling, unintelligible answer, but we'll move on. Pete Buttigieg tried to forcibly suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> Happened backstage. Yeah. It can't be done. That was Andrew Yang, sir. No oh, like oh boy. <laughs> no black. My mistake. I want to hear. I want to hear what Miss um, House Party has to say. When I ran for DA, I won and became the first black woman elected. DA in a state of... Because she had sex with Willie Brown. Brown. Look, look, oh, yeah, bring that back up. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah. If she had actually okay. broke into the kid and play dance right now, I'd vote for her. You know, I, I don't like that we're talking shit about house party. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple all of a sudden. Did you? Yeah. Socialism, fine. Gulag's fine. Dissing house party, you don't, not You don't fine. do that. That's a line. Not, not on my watch. <laughs> you don't, you don't just kid or play. Hold yeah. on a second. I need to hear this. What's the post game wrap up going to be if we don't even know what they're talking about? Even we if we guess, listen, Stephen, are we you will serious? Not know what kind of <laughs> we can <laughs> guess. You tell them who you are. And lock up more of your own people and than anybody else in history. When yes. I look around the you town say you fight halls for? that we do in this race for president, you United think States, I get arrest at least 20 the, of you right now? Um, the, the, the meetings that we do in the community meetings, and I see these little girls and boys. Um, Joe Biden is perked up. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, oh, girls. I see girls. Girls. His, 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 eye, his eye blood just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see these little Are girls. They they covered it up in shame. Sexy girls. Sorry, Don't this know. has never happened before Anybody in public. Tell you what you can or cannot be on a have Thursday. What can be is she sad now? By what has been. Senator Harris, thank you very much. You could you sum up every speech tonight with Pretty much, yeah. Don't ask, don't tell. I mean, oh, he went to ask, don't tell. Drink, drink. With a little grimace. Is he making gay jokes? He's a little grimace. Like, like he, he did it. He delivered it like he was James <laughs> Nelson Riley. <laughs> like, I served under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Charles, <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley. Professional setback. Ding, ding, ding. Got but is it everyday life? Don't ask, realized. don't tell. You only get to I don't know. You don't talk to me. <laughs> well, well, no. It's it, 2019. A lot of them just tell. It's like, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm gay. So gay. Was that, is he coming In 20 out years' time, he's the fat blonde guy from Hollywood Squares. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I thinking of? You know Former what presidential about. candidate, oh, um, Pete Buttigieg. Booty he looks like someone, I can't tell. He reminds me of someone. He's, he's like a writer who's yeah. only famous for like writing, writing the Oscars asked, yeah. and being on Hollywood Squares. Yes. Yeah, you're right. And reelected me with 80% of the vote. And what I learned All four of them. was that I was trust candidate. can be reciprocated. <laughs> and the... Part of how you can win and deserve to win is to know what's worth more to you. Wait, are they are they doing closing arguments? Are they doing closing arguments? It's closing. Right I'll now. tell you why this guy's not well, winning. He's not likable. And this He's election not. is. I like a lot of people. I don't like him. That's because you're straight. It, it could be that too, but no. I don't care that he's gay. I, 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 don't, I, don't, suck. I don't care that he's gay, yeah. I'd vote for him, but yeah. he's just terrible. They're not good. I'm yes. wondering if we're actually going to make their schools safe when they've learned active shooter drills before, before they've learned to read. A generation wondering whether we will actually really? get the job done. Do you done think that kids uh, are more concerned about an active shooting drill or Pete Buttigieg making his way into their restroom? Probably the latter. By the way, you know what would solve that problem with an active shooter? Having people with guns there that could take down an active shooter. Right. 
Correct. No longer do you have to I teach children to be in fear. Oh, because I want Andrew Yang because he might Maybe be on, he stop might be on this show. Right, here we go, here we he go. might be on this show, and I have to act like I care about him. Something, tell everyone you know you're going to do it. He's the best one there. And then you don't have a choice. You put your heart and soul into it. Yeah, and he even is. Even though I did that, best. my company flopped. Had its mini rise and maximum fall. Good. I lost investors, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Honest. Still owed a hundred thousand. I've seen maximum uh, falls. Pretty good. Debt. My parents still told people I was a lawyer. <laughs> so it's a little easier. Kind of dropped off at the maximum uh, fall so too. I like him. He fucks around a bit. <laughs> uh, eventually, yeah. I picked myself back. He's up. like a. He's, like he's a, the most likable for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Like for sure. He's, he's like a sassy black lady. <laughs> it's not a very high bar. Hold on, I want to hear him. We all like him, but we're all interrupting him. Was how it feels like your friends. Uh, no longer want to spend time with you, and so I spent seven years. I bet you he felt that a lot. <laughs> a nonprofit that helped train young entrepreneurs around the country, oh, to fail? including Sean Wen, who's here in the audience tonight, who left. Yeah, to name drop. His gilded Wall Street job to be to become a food entrepreneur in San Antonio. Sean, I hope I made the process or a little bit you easier for you than it was for me. Dog entrepreneur. But the goal of my campaign Pet shop is to make this an economy that allows us to live. <laughs> He's going to beat them because they eat domesticated animals. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wonder if Yang and Bill were in the same room. They, they just start barking at each other. He just said that he March. failed at everything. Did you, did you, did you, know, face. Did you know that uh, Andrew Yang actually his best his best friend doesn't care. served in Korea. He is, was served in Korea. Is, Bo is Corey yeah. Booker ready Correct for the Andrew yeah. Yang Bang? Is he ready? <laughs> Yang oh, trust, bang, me, baby. trust me, Corey Booker has that an Andrew Yang Bang. <laughs> a spectacle, and we lost that election. And here's, here's the, the thing the that I don't like about Corey Booker. He's black. Failure. No, hey, hey, whoa, watch whoa. it. And we all you know. Keep that in okay, Russia, we buddy. all know that Karl Marx was a racist and a homophobe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, it has nothing to do with the fact that he's white. <laughs> It is the fact <laughs> that as a biracial man with blue eyes, I feel like he should be on the wrong side of history in a Blade sequel. <laughs> okay, he is. fair point. It, I always Blade get uncomfortable with uh, blue eyes in darker skin color. By the way, not just black. It could be any darker skin color. It's just not natural. Like they either have radiation the contrast poisoning. Is too much. Oh, hey, yeah. by the way, I actually think before we go, while we're doing closing statements, because Cory Booker doesn't matter, uh, we actually... Yeah, Irrelevant. Of course, as all uh, communist dictators here today yeah. uh, would like to take a trip, take you on a journey. Are we ready to take them on a journey down to um, the land of make believe? Let's take a Let's take a trip. Yeah. Enough of make believe. Yeah. Yeah. Make believe is not. You know what? It's a beautiful place. It sucks. It's been gentrified. It's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> it has, and there's tanks that run over people. Why? China. Why Mostly people? I really dead. wish make land. The land of make believe has lost its grit. Yeah. Mm. It's it like has. Times Square post uh, well. 80s. Well, they you just don't feel like people, it's the so. place that you signed up for. No. Yeah, All right, no. we do have coming up here really soon. Uh, let me know when you have. We have Michael Knowles Ooh, of the ah, Daily yeah, Wire yeah. going to be on here soon. The, the extra, uh, extra until he's on, though, let's, we have him here. Have Michael him. Knowles of the Daily Wire. Yeah, uh, are you there, sir? You made me watch that whole <laughs> debate oh. before I could come and hang out with you guys. You well, sound angry. you're only the third guest of three to make that joke, but... Oh. Oh. No originality! I also we, know... We feel your pain. I that also know snap. that it's your job, so you're watching this regardless. Um, you watch them I and not us? Tweets. It's oh, at Michael J. Knowles. I want to make sure you have this. It's, of course, the Michael Knowles Show on Daily Wire. Let me ask you this, Michael. What is your ma What do you see as kind of the through line with all of the candidates here tonight? They all were talking loud and saying nothing. There was nothing new that came out all night. Joe Biden couldn't even say all that much. He couldn't finish a single sentence. Right. There was very little engagement with reality. The closest you got was Amy Klobuchar. She actually had some fairly moderate statements. At one point she said, maybe we shouldn't take health care away from 149 million Americans. That was the nearest to moderation you got in right. this whole three hour long catastrophe. It was a, a, lot of, a lot of the same. I think this doesn't bode very well for them. People are seeing through this. Joe Biden's campaign has collapsed. Liz Warren is now tied with him nationally, according to economist YouGov. Joe Biden ostensibly was the most electable candidate against Trump. It's just bad news on bad news on bad news for the Democrats. Let me, let me ask you this, because I was talking with Anthony Kumia about this. Who do you think 
uh, of these candidates is the most imminently beatable. If you could pick someone to go up against Trump, who would you, not who you like as a person, right? Because people often go, oh, I weep for my country. That being said, who do you think could be defeated most easily by Trump of these people? All of them other than Warren and Sanders. I really? think Julian Castro would be my favorite. Why if do you I, say Warren? I, to... I think Warren is the most easily beatable. You think she'd be tougher? Yeah, I think she would be a bit tougher because Warren, look, I think she has the screechiest, most awful voice in the world, like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> true, true, but yes. she has both some establishment appeal and she's got her kind of radical leftist cred. So in a certain way, I could see her uniting the Democratic Party. I still don't think she would win if the election were today. I think Trump would win 57 states. But nevertheless, I do think she could uh, pose some threat. Her big issue is she doesn't have any support among black voters. Right, she doesn't. Well, that's because they don't really like Native Americans. <laughs> or one one thousand. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true, and that's only because they confuse them for Latinos. Oh, that's true. But yeah. I, 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 I swear, see, see, you know, I Big think problem. that Elizabeth Warren loses to Donald Trump the yes. way Hillary Clinton lost, only worse. Because, like you said, she has kind of some establishment appeal, but not enough. I think Bernie Sanders is the hardest for him to beat because Bernie Sanders steals places like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, that sort of rust belt. And I think that, and, and being from Michigan, I think Michigan would look upon Elizabeth Warren the same way they did Hillary Clinton. And then the rest of America, I mean, she's so cringe inducing, like her whole campaign would be something you have to watch between your fingers. <laughs> You know, I, I do tend to agree, at least Bernie is what he is. He's been a hardline communist more than any of the people <laughs> you're dressed up as right now that. for at least 40 years. Yeah, that's true. And, and Liz Warren is not. I mean, she is a little more inauthentic. But the trouble is the age thing. I actually feel kind of bad making these jokes. If I weren't so cruel and rotten to the core, I would right. have trouble laughing at Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders tonight. <laughs> but they looked 200 years old. Yeah. I do not think that that sells in 2020. No. I think you're probably right. Uh, hey, you're a, you're a cigar guy. Uh, what it, were you smoking anything tonight? I wish. I'm now protesting our entire federal government by vaping all the time. So if my lungs <laughs> exploded, blame that. But I no, I couldn't. I couldn't smoke tonight. My heart would be beating too fast. Now that it's all over, maybe I'll go out and light up a uh, cohiba in honor of the socialistas up on that stage. Well, that's. I've been smoking a cohiba and using, of course, my wonderful Daily Wire tumbler. Uh, but I do appreciate that you have been jeweling mango mint, <laughs> Michael Knowles. I know that you're going to be on the uh, on the uh, Light with Crowder program pretty soon. Actually. The, uh, Ty, uh, Skylar yeah. Turden on a Devil's Advocate oh, yeah. soon, oh, nice. so people can look for that. Oh. In the interim, where's the best place for people to find you, sir? Best place to find me is Michael J. Knowles on Twitter or the Michael Knowles Show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, MySpace, Zanga, Live Journal, wherever good podcasts are downloaded. <laughs> With a K. Thank a K. you very much. That is Michael J. Knowles. Don't Carl Mario Lopez. Thank you, Michael. Thank we you, must Michael. go. Oh, um, yes. Speaking, hey, look at people with uh, who, who look like they're sort of Abercrombie ethnic. <laughs> Castro, <laughs> I could see him in a pair of skinny jeans with pelvic lines. Let's yeah. hear what he has to say because this is probably the last we're going to see of him. To do the right thing. On the other hand, my livelihood, and goodbye. my student loans, my new house payment, my car payment depended on me shutting up. By the he way, he's just down. he's just listing things so on his GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> student loan, help me. And, and you can I, help. With. My student <laughs> loan, my 82 council. Datsun. <laughs> All right. Your Castro... You know, it's Thanksgiving at the Castro the house, whole, household. Had, Where does he sit at the Thanksgiving table? Oftentimes we under. Think yeah. We think of politics is dirty. <laughs> at the kitty table. Corrupting. Yes. He I sits under. Biden sits at the kitty table. This guy sits under the table. Yeah. And, well, and, and butt kick is under the table. He's just got the weirdest face. But he is a, weird looking. Butt kick is under the table, but for choice. entirely different reasons. Yes. Other Gotcha. There's nobody that gets tested. More I was implying it as gay stuff. You know, like touching penises. Is he gay? He's not gay. I've heard it. His name this sounds. No. It's the rumor around the water cooler. He's just Greek. You can tell by but looking at him. But it's only the rumor around the water cooler because Pete Buttigieg is having sex with men on the water cooler. You oh. and your family. That's hard to get. It almost we seems like a tip off. Difficult. And Gerald, you would know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just saying that sounds well, you, hard. You just said it's hard to do, therefore it's you know. Difficult. We accomplished nothing tonight. Thank you for wasting America's time with wait, us. You think, wait, were you saying it's, it's hard to have sex in a water cooler? He said that. No, it's not. That's oh, no, like, he said that's it was like hard. I said he would know. That you buy in the back of an airline magazine. All right, listen, thank you so much for everyone who's tuned in. I know that you might think yes. we've been talking over this too much tonight. The reason for of that course. is that we've been banned so many times before. So this is a live watch debate yeah. companion where you watch along. Yep. And, of course, you uh, you actually have it, it open in another tab. Uh, before we get going, oh. the promo code, it's going to be active for the next Look 24 hours. 
Look, look at this. Nobody look at said Joe I, Biden. He's Sanders touching, like, he's touching Harris on the me. chest. The promo How old code are you, is young lady? Crowder Debate Stream. Sure That's the promo code on Twitter. And uh, it's also the promo code, of course, if you join Mug Club, loudoutcrowder.com slash Mug Club. You get $20 off for the next 24 Boom. hours. For those who missed it, we're going to do our, we've usually done in the past, our post game wrap up. Post-game, what yeah. we've learned most from the debates Nothing. here on YouTube. I have the hiccups. Oh, oh, oh. $20 off. What was, that, what was, the, drunk, what was the drunk elf? That was you. You know, not the one who raped Snow White, but the one who like felt her up oh, under the shirt uh, over the bra. What? That's, what? Uh, under the shirt OJ. over the bra. Under yeah. over. That's important. I don't know. No. It's grabby. Dopey, grumpy, I, I, Weinstein. I, I, the point is, it, we it, are it was going to see Antonio you. Brown if you're watching this here, you're saying, what's going to... This show is not done. It's not done. Go to blazetv.com yeah. slash Crowder. A lot of Crowder.com slash Mucklow. If you're not a member, we are going to have some fun and yeah. uh, do a post-game wrap-up. We will see you there. Thank you very much. Monday, we will be back for those who Woo. are in Club. If not, you get a short clip on YouTube. See you then. I want to kill myself. Marvurowski.